no, I said I was gonna be late. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the tweet. <laughs> what did I tweet out? Oh, she's not doing good. Uh. Yeah, sudden family visit, meaning I had my two older sisters come over and uh, had to keep them company. And uh, today, Grandma verbally said that like she is ready to go for a multitude of reasons, and a stream is delayed until further notice. Uh, here is my notice: is me going live, and that notification sending to your inbox or your it just popped out. Whatever. Okay, that's that's the notice. So. I wasn't going to start at 5, but I was going to start later. I just didn't know when later. But uh, later is now 7.30 p.m. And I can give a bit more detail. I kind of just... Uh... Nothing's really changing except for the fact that... My grandma kind of finally realizes that she is going to go away. I have no idea if she actually does feel that or if she's just saying that in order to convince herself. Uh, I know a couple of years ago when she was a lot more alive, she has repeatedly told us that when she is going to go, she is just going to accept it. Very Buddhist is what I'm saying. She is a very devout Buddhist. However, it seems like the closer that she is to that point, the more afraid. Now, I've been told that the concept of oblivion is a very scary thought. And I understand that. You're kind of a... Uh, it's very similar to maybe the concept of the sunken place from the movie Get Out. That kind of emptiness not being conscious just darkness and so it's kind of ironic that grandma a devout buddhist but when it actually comes to the real deal it's very hard to detach yourself from the world and to move on that's kind of the whole point of buddhism is to uh in a way, some people treat it as like ignorance is bliss, uh, whereas I would treat it as non knowledge is power. But a detachment from physical, worldly values or uh, any sort of like materialism. And she's kind of getting attached to life as far as I could tell. And so uh, I kind of told my mom, and this kind of fucked up, I told my mom, hey, uh, She's not doing so well as a Buddhist. She's probably going to have to reincarnate. She's probably not going to achieve enlightenment, but her next life, you know, there's another chance. This is the whole point of reincarnation is to go from life after life after life after life until you reach enlightenment. I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe the next one or the next one or the next one. But definitely not now. She's uh she's really attached. Maybe like maybe at the very end she could redeem herself. Then again, like a lot of this is superstition. Like that that's the superstition part of Buddhism. Whereas for me, I kind of take Buddhism as a not not a substitute, but like a supplement to philosophy. I think we could learn a lot from seeing the world through Buddhism as like a positive or a healthy way. I think there's a lot to learn from a religion or philosophy like Buddhism. And so I definitely borrow a lot of things. Uh, it, instead of like detachment, I actually overly attach myself to things like knowledge, to truth. Because uh, like, you know, when, when they say the words enlightenment, okay, I think super smart. Yeah, I'm live. Hello, chinchilla. Mm-hmm. Talking about Buddhism, how based it is. I think it's based. Mm 
Man, every single time that I'm drinking something carbonated, I'm just a burp machine. And uh, this is a truly. It is an alcoholic beverage. It's lime flavor. I actually like this so far. I bought the variety pack. So this guy flavors like black cherry. I'm forgetting the other ones. Oh, I think there was a lemon one. Either way, so far, I like the lime the best. I'm really digging the lime. Though, out of all of them, I can't say for sure because there is one more flavor that I haven't gotten to. This is, I think, the second to last flavor. There's like maybe, I think, four rows. So then I got through the black cherry, then through the lemon lemonade or maybe something else i forget and then this is the lime and then there's a fourth one a mystery one i have no idea what that is maybe that might be my most favorite but who knows right until i get through all the limes but so far i'm gonna be enjoying my time drinking the limes like one could say that i could find out which one is the best right now because all i have to do is just do a little bit of digging until i get to that last row but as somebody kept on telling me today, I am a very lazy person. I don't like to think of it as laziness. I like to think of it as efficiency. But let's be fair here. Here I am being lazy and I don't want to dig through to the last row. So limes, I'm going to finish you until I figure it out. And I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are. What is my favorite truly flavor? It is easy to misuse anything, like justification for bad behavior can come from anywhere. I don't need religion for that. So the bad rep religion has has more to do with people. I switch cola with coffee, less sugar, and not carbonated. Really interesting. I would actually prefer... I wouldn't prefer cola. I would prefer Sprite. So, uh, I think Sprite has about the same amount of sugar. And it is it is carbonated, but it doesn't have caffeine. My issue is with caffeine because it keeps me up and it fucks with my sleep schedule. So my issue isn't with caffeination or sugar. My issue is with caffeine and coffee has caffeine. And that's why I avoid coffee. Out of all the things that I remember hearing in college, a very constant theme was this reliance on coffee to wake up and work and be productive and i'm like no i'm not dealing with that shit all right that shit is really fucked up no i don't have a sleep schedule or if i do it's a very bad sleep schedule because either way i still sleep late but here's the thing with caffeine and i used to like i don't drink coffee but when I started drinking like a lot of Coca-Colas, that's when I really started to feel like I was sluggish. I was uh, staying up later than I wanted. I couldn't fall asleep. I had a hard time sleeping as in like I would wake up in spurts. It just wasn't a good time with caffeine. And then I noticed like, hey, um, I need something to drink that I enjoy and I enjoy soda. But what doesn't have caffeine? I'm like, oh, you know what? Sprite, 7-Up, like those kinds of beverages, they don't have caffeine. So I was like, shit, from now on, I'm only going to be drinking those beverages. And that's what I've been doing. And it's been great. I could drink it at night. It doesn't affect my sleep schedule. It keeps me going because it, like, it tastes good. It kind of gives me that kick. I've been really enjoying a only Sprite soda beverage kind of thing. Hey Astro, I notice you. Oh my god, what a sick emote, right? I should have done it. I need a... I, 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 I can't tell you guys these things. This is all behind the scenes production, my stream and shit. I'm not even going to get into that. So yeah, I agree. I really like caffeine, but the whole productive drink coffee is BS. Yeah, I think it is BS too. It gets really, really annoyed. But you like caffeine, damn. Like, what does caffeine even taste like? <laughs> I've never really was conscious of the taste of caffeine. Does caffeine have a taste? You had a soda drinking phase once. My dentist kicked your ass water only since. Damn, Ted. Ted, how old are you? 
That sounds like a boomer thing to do. Listening to your dentist on what you should consume. You're an individual. Well, you know what? No. You're in Germany, so... And they're socialists, and the state controls you, and you have no freedom. Fucking Germans. Same thing with the Netherlands. My background looks... Oh, no! No! That's a, that's a lie. Yeah, it does look a lot clearer because I'm not using NVIDIA broadcast. No. Wait. Astro, you don't like that? You don't like this. Interesting. It's gonna come up. Okay, you don't like this. Interesting. So then I'm using NVIDIA broadcast to blur out the background. It like uses, it uses the same camera and the AI determines what is human and what is background. And so like I could be all the way back here and I'm not greedy. I could be all the way up here and I'm not greedy. Like this is kind of cool. You don't like that. You don't care. You were just saying, oh yeah, that's because I, I thought I changed it, but I didn't. And so you got to see my background that I was clear. I've been using the video broadcast because I think it gives me better quality as in like I look better. I've been told that I look good and I've also been told that I'll look ugly. This was a very common theme tonight, but I don't want to get into that. I'm just going to be complaining about what my sisters keep on saying to me. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. Uh, Holland's two provinces within the Netherlands. Netherlands is the country. <laughs> yeah. Where's West Holland and East Holland? If there's a north and a south, there has to be an east and a west. I misspelled Patreon stream list. Fuck. You're right. Okay, I don't care. I'm not gonna pay attention. Someday Chow is gonna be popular enough to cancel for his anti-Germany bigotry. <laughs> cool. Okay, actually, Ted, what do you think about Germany trying to get a permanent seat in the UNSC, the United Nations Security Council? I think it's kind of unnecessary. <laughs> I think the, the permanent five in the P5 in the UNSC should just boom garbage. Once nuclear weapons are no longer a thing, they're garbage out. There, there's no need for preserving their power to veto anything against them. It's a dumb thing. It hurts us more than it helps us for uh, soon. I think it was really helpful during the Cold War, like a lot of conflicts were not approved by the UNSC because of the veto power. Because they're like, oh, majority of the Security Council wants us to be attacked? No, we're just going to veto that. Like, that saved Russia's ass, and that really prevented the World War III uh, to some extent. To some extent, so. There's that utility, but Cold War is over. We don't need to add people to the P5. We need to get rid of the P5. Does Germany even have a nuclear weapon? What reason do they have to use a veto power to their advantage? Besides just political clout of saying, hey, I'm a P5 member. To me, it doesn't make sense. What song is this? If you haven't realized, we've been listening to Maple Story music. Original soundtrack. Now, what's really based about the Maple Story OST is that Nexon allows us to use it. No DMCA, no copyright. It's poggers. Now, there's going to be a lot of shit that I throw into Nexon, but this is one of their best moves ever. And I really like it. I don't have to find remixes. I don't have to find covers or anything like with anime or with other songs that are popular and on the radio. I could just get it straight from there. Like, there's a lot of anime original soundtracks, and there's a lot of anime music that I just want to listen to the original and have you guys listen to it too on my stream. But I can't do that. But with Maple Story, we could experience the full nostalgia. Uh, hmm, kind of necessary, but besides the veto, is there benefits to be on that security council? Uh, there's clout. <laughs> and a lot of the states really do care about clout. You could just tell by all the parties that states have or all the connections that they try to do. They try to win uh, even the non-P5 members. They try to uh, lobby 
uh, the votes of other countries and their delegation to vote for them to be on the Security Council. Like, uh, there is a status, a, a kind of privilege to be on the Security Council. You get a lot of funding uh, to like help your military so long as you use that military for interventions. And uh, you just like, you have a lot of voting power as well, even if you don't have veto. Like, I'm pretty sure most resolutions don't get vetoed. Like, a lot of resolutions are them kind of just saying like, oh, we acknowledge this, or we're saying this, this is our official statement, blah, 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 but no action. And so, uh, e even those kinds of statements, like, even though it is soft power, states do care about that for one reason or another. And by that, they have leverage. This, even the non-P5 states in the Security Council have leverage. It's weird, right? Like, if you were, say, like a hardcore realist, or a materialist, you would be like, these abstract concepts don't fucking make sense. What the fuck is cloud? Cloud doesn't matter in the terms of military might or whatnot, but it does matter for some reason, and <laughs> the realists get fucked. Uh, would expanding the P5 make it big enough to make it redundant, redundant, thus allowing us to reform it? Wow, interesting. Making it more stupid in order to make it easier to tear it down you know what cool that is such a five head move i am so impressed i'm so proud no you should be insulted that i'm proud because it's it sounded pretentious for me to say that i'm proud like you needed my approval like they uh do they vote about other stuff also if you're gonna be if you're gonna add one country you need to add two cause five members are intentional because you never get a stalemate vote 3v3 basically oh shit you're right so if we did need it to add Germany, who would who else would we add? This is a very interesting question. Who else is influential enough in geopolitics besides Germany to add to the P5? I don't know. I I, I can't think of any other country really. Like maybe South Africa? No, because they, they don't even have a nuke. I I I'm not not Brazil. Like, I would think South Africa, Brazil, like, because they're in the BRICS. But, like, China, Russia, maybe India. No, no, no. India can't because India has an issue with Pakistan. And they also, but they also have nuclear weapons. So, like, okay, if we needed to add India, we also need to add Pakistan. Because then there's a conflict of interest over Kashmir. And both of them having nuclear weapons. Like, that is a really unfair advantage for India to be the one to be on the Security Council. And then, by adding Pakistan, we would need to add another person because then that's an even number. Oh boy. Veto the veto. That, that, that's not how that works. If you get funding, it's not just the veto. No, it's not just the veto. For the P5 though, like, the, the strong part is the veto. You're gonna drive to the store, but you'll still be listening and lurking. Hey! My voice. I'm a very powerful big thinker. I'm so happy for you to be my chat. Destroying institutions from the inside sounds like some anarchist BS. <laughs> At Japan or France? Um, France is already in the P5. <laughs> cool. Stop. You can't be. A All right. You're no longer the big thinker. I should. Uh, uh, you know, I've been trying to take. I've been trying to take some notes from Wicked Supreme, from Supreme, the Battle Lounge. Okay, great streamer. I love his stream. Uh, he's a really smart person, has a very a lot of entertaining content. He finds like the most bizarre things and like he also is a good talker too. And like one of the things that he has is the chatter of the month. Maybe I should have something similar to like the streamer of the month. Actually, I've been taking a lot more notes from Supreme too. I've been, I need to announce this now. I'm going to have anime movie nights weekly and I made a poll. To find out which one is the best date for people so i post on my twitter post it on my discord so here is a bum, 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 bum. i i have no idea what movie we're gonna watch but i think for my first movie this saturday we are going to watch something of my choice so i can i kind of do like thinking how do we choose which movie to watch and i think the first one the first one is uh it should alternate by my choice and also audience choice. So I'm always going to pick one and then the next week you guys are going to pick and then the next week I'm going to pick and then it's going to be like that. 
so then uh, we have like a good balance and so if you really want to participate in this uh, i'm not i'm not like which i'm gonna call it restricting it yet i kind of like want to increase engagement uh, without a lot of roadblocks so like what supreme does is you have to be on his patreon in order to participate in movie nights you don't have to do that okay i ha i do have a patreon and i i'm just gonna i'm gonna i'm putting it there just for if anybody wants to click it like i want you to click it just take it a, take a look uh, if you have something to spend go ahead but you don't need to be on my patreon in order to participate in anime movie nights all you need to do is join my discord the university of political science my university of political science uh read the messages do your thing it's airlock so you have to put some reacts and then boom anime category is all the way down so then back to ghoul yeah i would have the genius of the month and you know we're gonna do that now <laughs> i'm gonna make a google document content new folder create and share genius of the month and you're, you're gonna be our first one And I can't wait until like maybe I have a hundred viewer stream and I can no longer keep track of the genius of the month. The me builds. No, we're not watching Evangelion. Okay, so another rule to the animes is that they can't be spin-offs. No, no, no. Uh, they have to be standalone. So I want this to be as open and uh as what what's what's another thing like? As like enterable as possible, sure. Sure, we, we, I could try to face it that way. <laughs> so I want it to be standalone. I don't want it to be recap movies because like we would have to watch them over and over again, like one, two, three in succession. But then like what happens if you didn't make it last week? Then the movie night, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, so the recap movies, any recap movie, uh, any of or any uh, not standalone. So then the rebuild series would not be in considered. Like I really wanted for people to watch, say like, the Haikyuu movies, or the Attack on Titan movies, or the, um, there's another one. But anyways, because, like, they recap the season with, like, added detail, but, like, if, if it's at the third week and you didn't, you weren't on the, the first two, and you're, like, and, but you have time today, then, well, you're kind of fucked because you need to catch up. Uh, add Vietnam to the council, they have a massive army. <laughs> That's so troll. Uh, sounds as legit as Prager U. Technically, the rebuilds can stand alone. And they might have a role as a representative as a smaller country. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, like, Vietnam has been on the Security Council already. I'm pretty sure, like, most countries have been on the Security Council. Because the 10 non permanent members, they're non permanent, so they have to change. They rotate every two years, and it's two per region. And then it's, uh, they, they have to get voted in. And I, it's, like, it's rarely the same country in each reason over and over and over again uh, i'm pretty sure there, may, there might be a rule in place i'm not sure uh but anyways yeah like people countries have been on the security council the issue is whether or not it is legitimate for them to be as the tournament five as in they always have a seat in the security council and they have veto power okay those are like really distinguishable traits of p5 that makes the P5 distinguishable from the non permanent 5. Yeah, France is already in. And all the winners of World War II, that's China, USA, UK, France, and Russia, okay? They're the P5. What about the Aussies? I think people are going to complain about the Aussies joining in because they are a Western country. And they're going to definitely be like very similar or buddy buddy to the United States, the UK, and France. And so, yeah. All right, genius of the month. I, I totally forgot about that. So I need to go to Ghoulcifier or Ghoulcifer. Wouldn't expanding the P5 make it big enough? Oh, that 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 is that is beautiful. Okay, and I'm even going to make an edit. So it wouldn't expand the P5, make it big enough to make it redundant, thus allowing us to reform it. But you want to be good. Wouldn't expand the P5 be good to make it redundant, thus allowing us to reform it? Yeah. 
And we're gonna be expanding the... Well, we would be expanding the permit members, but not the P5. You can't expand a P5. You could ex you could expand the permanent members from 5 to 6. I just want to be quirky about that. Okay. I'm back here. Uh, did France really win World War II? Yes, they did. Okay. <laughs> uh, but either way, like, even if you could... If you want to argue that France didn't win the World War II, they still have nuclear weapons. And they had nuclear weapons before the Non-Proliferation Treaty was signed. Therefore, they have a lot of leverage in... <laughs> or they have a lot of threat. Uh, that makes them, like, a really good reason for them to have a veto power. Don't tell them that it's a Western country, it's in Asia, we control the Aussies. <laughs> oh my god, okay, if I looked up on Google, the West, okay, I'm pretty sure Australia would be, like, people talk about the global South, but then that doesn't really make sense either, because Australia's in the South. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, well, like, that's not what I really mean by the globes. Like, maybe we shouldn't then be, like, <laughs> correlating hemisphere with development. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a good idea, huh? You know, in my anthropology class, my professor asked us, what is the best way to categorize the world, the country's worlds? Or, oh, not the country's worlds, uh... The, the world the countries of the world what would be a good way to categorize them by development and like some of them propose the first world second world world third world some of them prefer the uh, north and south i would just be like just call them developed or underdeveloped <laughs> just take the characteristics and the characteristics match under an umbrella you put them in all right it's not that hard <laughs> you don't have to correlate with geography you don't have to correlate with hemisphere <laughs> You don't have to correlate with political ideology because that's really what first world, second world, and third world was. It wasn't about development, it was about political ideology. The third, first world, second world, third world, maybe Ted could back me up or he could go against me. They... <laughs> first world were capitalist, second world was communist, and third world were like, okay, we, we don't know. We're gonna have to choose. It has nothing to do with development. It has nothing to do with income. It all has to do with ideology. And uh, we can say like, okay, well, why is capitalist the first world? It's like, no, because it's made by capitalists. It was way for the United States to suggest that the capitalist worlds were number one and that the, the communist world, the communist states were number two. Okay, the Cold War terms. They should die. They don't. They're, they're of no use anymore, but people have kind of co-opted them to correlate with development, which is not fair to history, in my opinion. But I, I completely understand when somebody uses them, so... I don't complain much. Oh, uh, wait, is it okay if I post potential anime spoilers in the Discord? Uh, yes, it is okay, so long as you preface that it is a spoiler and you put the spoiler thingy mabop. There's a way in Discord, and it took me a long time to figure this out, to black out some text as spoilers, and only, uh, you, you could only see them. Other people can only see them if they hover over or if they click on the black box. Something like that, okay? So, if we're gonna be posting spoilers, put it, like, say, spoilers, caps, okay, stars, do, do something to get people's attention, and, like, what the spoiler is, uh, about, like, what show it is, uh, where does it end, so then, like, for people who, like, could get spoiled because they've already, they've already watched it, and they're like, okay, you have to give some more details, you have to give some more context, and then the spoiler in the spoiler format. Uh, can I black out a photo? I think you can. I... I don't know about it. Like, I know it, it, you could do it on a Reddit. I have no idea if you could do it on Discord. Look it up. You have evidence that Aaron didn't... Oh, fucking god. Did you read the manga? Red, did you read the manga? You could do the NSFW. You didn't even read the manga! You're a Pepe fucking laughing. You didn't even read the manga and you want to argue that Aaron didn't... You don't even know what Aaron did! Shut up! <laughs> this is very funny to you. No, it's not! You will not be backing down. You're a fucking troll. I can't wait. 
You know, I don't know if I should egg people on to take a position on Attack on Titan or if I should let it not be a thing because I I have a feeling that most of the time other people are going to be posting cringe and I'm just going to it's just going to be pure disappointment for me. Dumbledore gets killed in Harry Potter guys. I, I that normie shit you could spoil that any day. I wonder if we're going to be running bosses. I don't think so. Guys. I've been seeing a lot of streamers. Play video games while listening to something. I want to try it out. And I'm totally not doing this because I don't have anything planned. Okay, I don't have anything planned. I had... I couldn't do anything today, all right? It was just family. It was pure family, and it was kind of scary how pure family it was for the consecutive amount of hours that it occurred. Like, it, I, I'm not, I wasn't annoyed by it, but it's just like very impressive that like I could wake up, family is over, and I could just like be with family for hours and hours and hours on a day. I wouldn't look at the news. We, we wouldn't be discussing anything else except for family. And then that's like, whoo, that's a big chunk of my day. So I had nothing, I have nothing prepared for this stream. But this has been probably the most active chat has been. Like, I'm just, I say something, I look at chat, there's something there and I have something to work with. I'm also a bit elated. <laughs> uh, can't wait for that Hogwarts game. I think I saw something about that. I'm not very interested. No, I enjoy the Harry Potter movies. I didn't read the books. People tell me to read the books. I can't fucking read the books. I try reading the books. It's uh, it's impossible for me. I'm too much of a, too much of an anime guy. You was able to tag as spoiler. Nice. Good job. Okay. Genshin Impact sucks. Thoughts? Wow. Okay. Well, I, I'm not going to show people, but I'm going to take a look at it. Did he even at me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> That's not how that works! <laughs> Oh my god. You can't do that. No, you can't. Red Radius, I'm going to find a picture of Hitler. I'm going to post that, all right? <laughs> oh my god. That's... No comment. Uh, the only problem of Genshin is that its content is limited. The content isn't limited if you don't play the content. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I I've actually been playing Genshin Impact recently. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing that while maybe listening to something. Oh okay, yeah, so by the way, like, I want to try this thing out where I'm a content creator. I stream, I play video games, but like, I, I it's not the video game thing. Like, I'm also, I'm listening, okay? I'm multitasking. I'm playing video games while listening and reacting to something. Even though most of the time, people are focused on the game, okay? I don't know how people do it, all right? All right There's some people like Riley Grace Rossero, right? She can play games and listen to something and comment on it substantively. I don't know how the fuck people are able to do that, okay? It's very impressive when I see that. <laughs> I tried it myself. I really did. Okay, it doesn't work out. I'm like, I I'm too distracted by the game. Like, I wanna like, I'm like a mid-maxer, a gamer. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna press the right buttons at the same time. Like, I can't slack. Uh -huh. I, I can't even diverge my attention or be slip it, split it between the video game and the video. I can't do that. But okay, let's let's try it. So, uh, what is something? Do not, if you recommend me, Vosh versus Mike from PE. I'm gonna rip my head off. I'm gonna ban you. You feel so bored playing it. There's nothing to do. Yo, that's because you're end game. Okay, you rushed it. You know, for me, I'll show you all the amount of quests that I need to do and the amount of progress that I need to do. Okay. 
I'm not a real gamer is what I'm trying to say. Wow. No, I, no, Chinchilla, I'm so much of a gamer that anything else besides the game is a nuisance to me. Like listening to some debate or whatnot. Ooh. You're going to be throwing out gamer words soon. Uh-oh. Ugh. <laughs> I, I, I changed my just my... My what I'm calling my about me for Twitch. Now it includes degenerate. I am a degenerate. Like I'm pretty sure a lot of the things that I do in private or the things that I have done before is cancelable. Like I've definitely changed my behavior in order to not get cancelled. <laughs> or like <clears throat> I hang around. Like I'm in in college, I was in that friend group that did not care about political correctness. You know what we were like? We were progressive and we were woke. Like we knew about issues and when it came down to the actual arguments of it, we were the best at making those kinds of arguments. But we just like amongst ourselves, we didn't care about political correctness. Uh, it wasn't as bad as like saying the N word. Like I'm talking about using the R word. Okay. Like that, that's, that's the furthest that it really went. Um, and like, actually, even some people within our group stopped using the R word eventually. And like, I always found it very uh, intriguing. Like how that, that, how that does change. Mm -hmm. Uh, just be glad that I'm not an NBA player. What? If I was an NBA player, wouldn't I be bullying? I'd be massively fit. I'd probably be set for life monetarily. I would enjoy, I would hopefully like if I played if I was in the NBA, I would hope that I enjoyed basketball and that I loved doing what I was doing in competition. Like, I do have a sense of competition, or I, I really at least used to. Uh, maybe not anymore as, like, I've moved away from playing PvP games and onto PvE games. Like, I used to be really competitive in sports, soccer, track, winter track, okay, spring track, winter track. They're, like, the same, but, like, different. And then uh, I used to be really competitive in league, at least, like, in my... Like, I was a hardcore ranked player. Like, I was, at, at some point, for the majority of my League of Legends playing time, for the most part, I was a ranked only. Like, if I was going to be playing League, it didn't matter. Like, the only time that I thought was efficient for playing League was ranked. I wasn't a normals guy. Like, people were normals people. That felt weird to me. I was very weirded out by people who said that they just play normals. Uh, you just don't really like doing that. Games and streaming. You went from edgy live to SJW to whatever you are now. What are, what are you are now? <laughs> whatever you are now, try to tell in like five words. Unless it's like a skill-based game, but stories rather than experience on your own. Like, uh, I, I've kind of thought about like, you know, the games that I do play. Maple Story, not Melee. Uh, Maple Story, Genshin Impact, uh, Legend of Zelda. These are games I could kind of just like take my attention off of them and then focus on the chat. Uh, but then like for games like Melee or League of Legends, I like I want to stay focused. Like I'll, I'll look at chat when I die and like I'll, I'll make some winning remark, but like I'm I'm boom, pew, laser eyes. Oh no, an NBA player was streaming caught. Oh shit, yeah, I heard about- Oh no, no, no. I heard about FaZe, okay? There was an issue with FaZe, like a FaZe player. I didn't hear about the NBA player. I, I- I sort of have- Like, I saw it somewhere. I just- I just don't know about it. You got cancelled on TikTok, shadow banned, and like politically incorrect, just shit on conservatives too much. <laughs> La Mao. They found it. You know why? Because TikTok is Chinese, and you know what Chi Chinese- The Chinese are conservative. Uh, the Chinese government is conservative. You know what's really weird? Uh, okay, so last night, Mel decides to tweet something really dumb. And then I, I, I have to tweet something, not, not like back at her, but like about her because, or not really like, there was just like a conversation between her and Supreme and like her and somebody else that just got me weirded out and I need to tweet something. Okay. Uh, how about this? Oh my god. This is- this is how it starts. Am I- Danabo, if you're here, am I doing drama right? Let's go on my Twitter. Okay, what the fuck did I do last night? I did something last night. Here it is. <laughs> so like, uh, this- this isn't even about the original tweet, so let's- how about this? Let's find the original tweet. Let's go- let's go over this. Okay, Mel. Chaos is Mel. I unfollowed, okay? I- I can't deal with this shit anymore. I unfollowed. But like, even though I unfollowed, I still see her in my feed! Stop! God, stop engaging in this! Okay, why- 
people don't realize that when they engage in other people's tweet, they are blasting it out for it. I don't care. It doesn't matter if you're criticizing, if you're right or if you're wrong or whatnot, okay? Liking, tweeting at Eddie, retweeting it is going to give her engagement. You're being counterproductive if you want to disagree with her because you're spreading her message. You're sending to Twitter, the company, the signals of getting this to be on other people's feeds and it gets on other people's feeds like mine even though I'm not following her. Okay, so where is it? Where, where, the, where the fuck is, is the, the trans, uh, the, 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 the whatchamacallit? Man, she tweets so much. Oh my God, 16 hours. Oh, uh, wait, where, did she delete it? Did she delete it? it? It was about the cat girls and the men dressing up. Uh, where the fuck is it? It's gone. Wait, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, mine waves. Mine, mine, mine. I'm, I'm just, I'm just drunk. <laughs> I'm just drunk. And Mel tweets a lot. Okay, so here it is. Okay, this is the tweet. I found it from my ways. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Danable is currently doing karaoke, of course. Okay, I you know what? It's not even his fault. I'm by now I should have been ending stream. Okay, it's eight it's eight ten. I usually stream for three hours from five to eight. Oh, uh, you're maybe a socialist? Oh cool, how about you like uh try one of those tests that I did? Uh six triangles or eight values, uh political compass, something like that. TikTok has a rough TOS. They are quite strict, but TikTok has a history of inappropriate content. That's why I will never understand TikTok out here. I I, I am subtweeting, but like I'm not actually sub. Well, actually, like, is that what subtweeting is? Like, I'm not retweeting. I'm subtweeting. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Uh, you got two videos banned for shitting on Rush Limbaugh in a video about how Reagan and cocaine and crack. Like, okay, outer god, I'm gonna explain to you why that is. Like, why shitting on conservatives got you like that? Like, usually, it's the conservatives shitting on the liberals that get banned, right? But no, on TikTok, it's the opposite, and I'll tell you why. Uh, you're so glad that I don't go down, that I didn't go down the Twitter left rabbit hole. Oh my god, the Twitter left rabbit hole is something else. Okay, you guys gotta stop chatting because I need to go over this. No sucks, no drugs. Ba ba ba. Instead of we, that's why they put green leaves, Lamau. <laughs> you can't even put a picture of marijuana? Wow. You have to restart, that kind of sucks. You was getting- What? You were getting 500k views a week? Wow! Yo, we got someone famous here! Someone well known! I'm not being- I'm, I'm not being like, diminishing about it. Like, I'm actually really impressed. Like, 500k, uh... Let, let's let's look at my manager. Okay, you got like 500k views a week. Throughout my years of streaming, I only have 15.5k views. All right, that's very impressive. You saw one of those and you says libertarian left. Yeah, that's right. You're, okay, you're like, you're you're a socialist because like you're you're left, but then like are you a anarchist? Are you a, a ML and a libertarian left? You're like you're pretty close to anarchists, which is where I am. Uh, if if you. You could scroll down to where like my about stuff and I I posted my links to uh, what my test scores and whatnot. Okay, so Mel made this tweet. Uh, there are cis men dressing up as trans women to prove trans women are men. There are cis men dressing up as women, cat girls, or in drag to defend trans women in online debates. Can both of them not exist anymore, please? And then here comes Mindwave. So he's like, yo, wait, are you referring to the latter category? Like, who are you referring to? And then Mel says, nobody, actually. This is very hyperbolic. It's like, no, you, you, are, you are saying there are, okay? There exists. And there exists people who people and this is the people who are doing said action and you don't want them to exist anymore so it's like there's nobody okay it's like it, it, you have to there has to be something happening okay and there's like who you're referring to here is like nobody it's just silly musings my god and then uh and then right here she's like i've uh, she says, I've never said or implied that. Okay, I've never heard this person replied, blah, 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 blah. I've never heard of this happening, blah, blah, blah. Uh, not attacking you, just like she's really confused. And I was like, no, I never said that. But you did! You said it right here! Okay. So then here's the, here's the reason. Okay, I looked it up because I wanted to talk here. I wanted to talk about the noble lie. All right, and this, this is this. I, I'm just using this as 
uh, like a foundation for the conversation or for the talk. I wanted to talk about the noble lie. And I looked it up because I, I just remembered hearing about it on some documentary. And the noble lie is a myth or untruth to advance an agenda. It's, it's for other things too, but then like uh, we, we could look it up. And like it originated from Plato and Leo Strauss. Uh, and uh, it originated from Plato. Leo Strauss endorsed it for the sake of advancing neoconservatism. Okay, what is neoconservatism? Neoconservatism is all about interventions, foreign policy, and free markets, all right? Uh, a lot of, like, think of Bolton when it comes to free foreign policy, and think of, like, the libertarians when it comes to economics for a neoconservative. It's the combination of those two, all right? Then Leo Strauss was considered the grandfather of neoconservatism. And so, I didn't know who was Leo Strauss, all right? Who was Leo? I, I didn't know. I knew I knew there was a person who endorsed it. That was, was like the father of neoconservatism, but I didn't know their name. So then I typed in Google. I typed in Google, oh, like founders or leader, thought leaders of neoconservatism. And one of them, the first, the very first one on one of those lists was Confucian. Confucian is considered a conservative thought leader. And I was blown out of my mind. But then, like, the more that I thought about it, the, the more that it makes sense. Okay, Confucian was all about preserving the current harmony, preserving the current status quo. And, uh, like, he thought that, like, peace was something to be aspired to from achieving some relationships. And these relationships are often, like, they're, they're, they are very conservative. Uh, they they impose the patriarchy they impose the hierarchy from government to, to, to subject like it's from uh from parent to child from man to woman or like from uh husband to wife from teacher to student like those those kinds of relationships and so tiktok all right and here's the joke tiktok is chinese china confucian made the connection they're conservative you are fighting conservatives you're attacking them so that's why you're getting canceled okay that's the joke <laughs> was this very funny i should do a political tiktok i will blow up ah okay you know what chinchilla how about this you can you can help me you can help me for tiktok how about that all right i have no idea how to approach tiktok you seem like a person who has extensive knowledge on tiktok and you know what okay like if this thing blows up i'll pay you all right mel was talking about <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. TikTok following hardly ever moves over to other social medias until someone has millions and millions of followers. But yeah, like hopefully I would, if I wanted to pursue something in TikTok, I would want it to translate to uh, followers or views in Twitch, YouTube. Leo is a lib name. No, Leo Schaus is very much not a liberal, okay? All right, so Leo Strauss, a little bit about Leo Strauss. He was a refugee from Germany, and this was like around Nazi Germany time. And uh, he was, I'm pretty sure he was Jewish. Uh, was he Jewish? He later emigrated from Germany to the United States. Okay, no, maybe he was from Germany. Okay, he was born in Germany to Jewish parents. Okay, so he was Jewish. So, <laughs> good reason to leave Nazi Germany at the time, right? Yeah, so he went to the United States. And uh, he was a philosopher and he believed that the way for America to achieve greatness and to be the best country in the world was to preserve nationality and to, uh, and to like fight off enemies and blah, 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 blah. Something like, okay, something about like social cohesion. And that he endorsed the concept of the noble lie right here in order to propel or in order to uh, advanced neoconservative thought like even if it's a even if it's fake fake news misinformation even if it's just a scapegoat like let's use it in order to maintain the uh, the, so, the social cohesion of the state all right so then when you hear stuff about like religion attacks on the democrats or like using the the, the refugees coming from the southern border as like a scapegoat in order to unite them as a people like that's neoconservatism guys <laughs> like this is like fucked up shit hey living okay i'm sorry i kind of baited you with a title but it is kind of like a maple story nostalgia because we're listening to maple story music uh, but we're talking about other things i uh, there was a potential that i was gonna play maple story today i, I really could but like maybe not 
Uh, you're on a cat girl panel yet. Oh, you're on I did see that. And we talked about how dumb super straight is. Ha, <laughs> super straight. Yeah, the, that's something coming out. This recovery rate is insane, so definitely would advise any starting out streamer who can do TikTok to do TikTok. Which is horrible and can't get silver at all. Look at yourself, 500k views. You know, like, that's why I'm moving on to YouTube, but like, I feel like I'm spreading myself thin. Especially with my current predicament, like my current family situation. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of motivation nor a lot of time in order to do other things besides uh, my stream and focusing on my family. So something like TikTok it is definitely like something that happens later. Though, so, like Chinchilla, if you really think it's a great idea for me, I want you to help me. All right, I want. Let's 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 let's. Yeah, what was that tweet? Link it. Uh, here. Just view bot Lamel. We don't want to engage, but just read. What do you mean? Oh, just read the tweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna view bot. Someone actually did recommend me to like view bot and to follow our bot because they thought it correlated with my success or with like my growth with the little growth that I have achieved. You know what? Like I say it's little growth, but the reason why is because I understand that my current position as a streamer is not sustainable and thus the end goal is not being a 20 viewer Vandy or even a 10 viewer Andy, which I am right now. Again, nine. I'm, I'm just like setting really high goals for myself, but this is not to bring people down. Like, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. And like, even though, even though, like, let's, let's say like viewers really low. I consider this a very, very active chat. Like out of the nine people, we have maybe like five consistent people in chat. That's more than 50%. Not a lot. A lot of streams I see they, they have like thousands of viewers, but like maybe only a couple hundred actually participate in chat. Actually, I don't even think a couple hundred participate in chat. Imagine the amount of logs that occurs if, say, like more than 50% of somebody's of someone's like big chat was in a Twitch chat. That said to, that to me sounds like it would break Twitch. Holy shit, Mel's talking about me, but she knows I fucking hate her. Explains a lot. <laughs> Just get more viewers. <laughs> Leonardo de girl's name. Who's Leonardo de girl's name? Okay, I don't know. I, I just wanted to tell you guys how I saw. Oh, this is the original. I thought this was a remix. Okay, I just wanted to tell you guys how I found out that Confucian was considered a conservative thought leader. It was so bizarre to me at the time. Destiny. That's a video game. <laughs> it is a video game. Uh, so what I would do sometimes is TikTok. Then at the end of the video's post, check out my YouTube and grow my YouTube that way. I don't even know what I would do with TikTok. Like what content? Okay. It's probably going to be political content. It's probably going to be react content. I just like, or anime content. I just don't know. Like, you know what? How about this? If I am going to be pursuing TikTok, I'm going to have to study. Like, let's be honest here. I have to be honest with myself. Twitter was not something that I just got. Like I had to study people. I had to go on people's profiles. I had to see what was working. I had to like learn and see what was getting the likes and like kind of, I'm, I'm still changing my approach to these social media platforms. And so I have to do the same thing with TikTok. The thing is, is that I really haven't figured out Twitter or like I want like Twitter to at least like be something that I could go to and get like a couple of engagement. Like right now I'm getting like almost no, no engagement. Um, you know, but like, you know, that, that grandma tweet, okay, of how like morbid that is, that grandma tweet got a lot of engagement, okay, got a lot of likes and a lot of people feeling, you know, feelings, empathy, okay, but I don't do that often. I'm like an information junkie. I just like throw stuff at you and I'm like, eat it, Urgh! learn, Urgh! view button helps to get discovered Bailey, actually, but don't do it. It's so obvious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like streamers got banned if they view bot or they follow our bot i'm pretty sure that's a bannable thing yeah you know like uh there, there was that one guy uh fuck one some, something one sean was it sean one okay something one matthew fuck i don't know okay something one was like blowing up like he was like he's part of new york city dsa and he's like talking about how like 
queer leftists and their rhetoric and their narratives is such bullshit and blah 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 blah. Child's also a girl's no it's not. It's my last name. Leave me alone. Oh uh, TikTok doesn't take much effort. My chimp brain having ass could do it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, no, 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 I could definitely do it. Wow, thank you. No, I think I can. I just like I need to get used to it. I need to learn. Because like right now I just I just have no idea how to approach it. And maybe it's just something that's like really easy for me to pick up. Maybe it's something that like I'm just a natural at it. And so let's fucking go, let's do it. Uh, you know what? I did see something on Reddit that turned stream clips into TikTok highlights. And you know what? That might be a really easy way to get TikTok engagement. Because then like I'm already streaming, people are already clipping me. And uh, you know what? People, let's get those clips, all right? I want to like post it onto Twitter. Like, um, like one of, one of the things to Twitch engagement or like one strategy is to get people to clip you, but and then like people are uh, usually clips are the best highlights of your stream it's the most hype it's the most funniest it's the most informational it's the most, most educational and so you get a lot of engagement from like people watching your clips but then you can't just like have your clip sit there it's not going to get enough engagement unless you actually promote it yourself and so being able to post clips onto twitter or onto my discord for say is something that like i need to improve on so then but first getting clips but then second it's not just getting clips it's promoting those clips uh senpai's visco tiktok trendsetter oh i know of it. i know about visco visco is like a more mm, nsfw instagram it's, it's not even like nsfw it's more like showing skin kind of instagram from what i've seen uh, i just got go like Pick a topic like five lies about Asian Americans and you're just wrong about the US Council. Oh I'll, I'll just like crack open my textbook, read a couple of lines, and boom, that's my TikTok. Oh easy, easy fucking money. You're supposed edgy shit on Twitter. That's how that's how my definitely not banned account got one thousands of repressions. Red, you got banned. Uh, I should watch Devin Nash's video on streamers view body. Uh, that Reddit idea sounds pretty lit, but keep my videos below 20 seconds for watch time. You know what? Like, I don't even. So, what you could also do with clips is you could download them and then you could trim them yourself. So, a lot of the times, probably this is probably what happens is that people clip, but they do a really poor job at clipping. It's not even that like they're bad at it. It's more like they're lazy. And so, like, maybe there's 20 seconds of action, but the default time is 30 seconds. So you just do it with the 30 seconds, but then there's 10 seconds of dead air. You could download your own clips, trim it, and then put it through that bot and then post it onto TikTok. And then, like, what? You, you, could, do, uh, you could do it through VLC. You don't even have to get, like, a video editor. So that takes, like, what? 20 seconds, 10 seconds? It's very easy. Mm. No, Devin Ash's thing is, is something that I'm very interested in. Thank you, Outer. Uh, there's a recent clip of Nymph. Oh my god, I know Nymph was all over was all over my YouTube feed. Like it, it was just over. I don't know why, okay? I'm not horny. And Nymph is very attractive. It has a very good setup. Alright. We've got another street review body in 3k views and that nightbot chatting. And only nightbot chatting. That's you know what, like, if you're gonna be viewbotting, you have to also chat bot. Like, I'm pretty sure there are chat- uh, th there are- there's a bot that could just talk. Absolutely, that has to be a thing. Like, if you're gonna do something, you might as well make it out to be the truth. And, you know, that's- that's a bit lying, so, like, I- I wouldn't want anybody to do that, okay? Don't do it. I- I'm not gonna do it. Only fans when? Dude, okay, um... So there's a lot of thought about the future. And I know that the future is something that a lot of people cannot predict. However, however, an idea in the future is that I go back to working out. I actually like start caring about my looks for attractiveness. They like get, get a better haircut, uh, improve my face, which I am actually doing right now. I do have a skincare routine whenever I wash my face every day, or I at least try to every day, get contacts or LASIK, get rid of the glasses, better haircut <clears throat> get like better shape better in shape better muscle and uh, i i do have like that ideal body i just like i just need to add stuff and the reason why i have that ideal body is because i did a lot of gym stuff i did i worked out a lot in high school it was a lot 
I was a very dedicated athlete. So, uh, I, I wouldn't say like an OnlyFans, but like more Instagram. Like if, if I were to go to the gym and like, I, I would probably start like a thing where I would take a picture at the gym. It'll either be like a funny thing or about like my improvement, or my, my progress, or me doing like a bench press. And I, I think that'd be really interesting for my Instagram. Right now, my Instagram is dead. And for obvious reasons, uh, I can't go outside. There's nothing like good inside of my house to take a picture of. Like, what am I going to do? Post, post a picture of myself? Like, look at this shit. Okay. Like, you, you, you think I like doing this? Okay. Yes, I'm doing this on purpose because I want to grow out my hair long. But like, that's because of COVID. You pay five dollars a month to get naked truth about politics. Wow. Okay. The naked, naked politics, chinchilla. I I am trademarking that. That is mine now. You cannot take it. Naked politics. I can just change Nightbot's name and make Nightbot spam shit, and then have like different kinds of Nightbots do the same. Poly Sci thirst traps. Asian Hassan. I don't know about Asian Hassan. Because I, I know how Hassan talks, and I, I know what he's talking. Yeah, I know, not how he talks, okay? My issue with, isn't with how he talks. He does have a very beautiful voice, okay? It's what he talks about. Uh, Hassan is a poli-sci major. He graduated with a poli-sci degree. And I am very disappointed that he is not as methodological with the information that he presents, and is more of a bro, a reactionary, a partisan, uh, he's more of an ideologue. He he has a narrative. He went to Miami and then Rutgers. What? Uh, okay, all right. Miami is in Florida, so that's uh, that's already sus. Um, I heard uh, is like Rutgers a good a good school or not? He is definitely partisan, 100%. I mean, like, I would say I'm partisan too, as in, like, for most things that Democrats do, I would vote for them. But, like, it, I, ra I at least, like, rationalize it. Then again, he also rationalizes it. Too. Like, it's not like people don't rationalize it. They just rationalize it only. Rutgers is good. Um, I don't know. I think he's kind of dumb. I, I don't think he's dumb. I think he, he just, like, he knows that anything more... Or like anything more intelligent is not going to appeal the same way as the way that he does dumb stuff. Like, hey, his brand on TYT was always this reactionary, this uh, like reaction content. Like that, that was his segment it was like uh, showing a clip from like Fox News or something, and then being like, whoa, whoa, blah, 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 blah. like that was him. Okay, and then he just translated that to Twitch. Like, he, that was his brand, whereas, like, my brand is, like, something else. Like, maybe I could get to the same level as him. It just wouldn't be the same vibe. Okay. Rutgers is for party. I know someone who went to Rutgers. I mean, it's not to be elitist just saying, well, Kuzukan, you're in my chat. Okay, you know what? I, I, I forget. I think it was Larry Potato. I think it was Larry Potato in Wicked Supreme's chat or somebody else. Fuck. Was it Larry Potato? Or was it somebody else? Anyways, I asked people if I came off as really pretentious. And some of them, and like, people said like, yes or sometimes. You're in my chat, okay? I, I don't care about like, people being pretentious. Like, I care about people being assholes, okay? But I don't think being pretentious is being an asshole. Well, some prevented me from becoming a Twitter leftist. You're forever grateful for that. LaMau! <laughs> it was him. Look at that. And Outer God is a huge... He's a huge figure. 500k followers. 500k views on TikTok. The left definitely missed out on a comrade. Dude, like... Uh, I was in, like, some other person's stream. And like, they kept on using the word comrade and calling people comrades. I'm like, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. It sounds really cultish. It, all, it also like sounds LARPy, but I, I'm pretty sure for some of them, like they actually view themselves as comrades. Like they're not just using it to get internet points or to get leftists to be like, oh, yes, daddy marks. Come back to the grave and allow me to fuck you. 
Comrade sounds cringe. Yeah, it does. I, I think so. Uh, you disagree? You've seen him in debates with Destiny and he straight up can't consistently make logical sound arguments. Well, that's what we're saying is that like... Like, I, I want to say... Okay, because like he does say that he has a degree in political science okay maybe he didn't do well maybe he didn't really care about that okay maybe instead of actually taking away something from it he was uh like turned off from it i see that happening I i've seen people be like they go to their major they're really passionate about it but then what they get out from it is completely the opposite of what they wanted and then they end up hating the major okay i've definitely made like maybe hassan is that kind of person who knows i don't know him that well the comrade stuff puts me off too. Don't fucking call me a comrade. <laughs> One, you're including me in something that I'm not included in because I don't consider myself a leftist. And you know what? Okay, I've said this multiple times, but in my college, I consider myself the most progressive. Alright, I was a person for the UBI. I was a person for the human rights. I was a person that tried to get people to not just vote for Sanders, okay? But like to vote, vote for Andrew Yang and to vote for Sanders. But like the majority of people in my college were like for the centrists. Like I was, I was pretty out there, okay? I wasn't the most left because there was, I knew one person who was an actual communist. And we went to, we went to socialism club. And uh, we would debate and it would be like, it's a one person club. But like, I, I guess we will consider ourselves members because we went there frequently. So like, it, it was a club of three people. And then it would just be three people in a classroom having a debate. Or like, he'll be giving a lecture and I'll be asking questions. And then we'll be having a debate on something. Oh, oh boy. And then we, we'll do that for like two hours and a half. <laughs> That's what I did in college. I just debated people. Right? And now I'm doing it on Twitch. This is all I could do. That's all I could do. Uh, people laughed at other students who voted for Warren at my college. People laughed at me for supporting universal basic income. And they kept on telling me that Biden was the way, okay? I definitely felt like I was the most progressive. You know what, but the Democratic... The, the, de the college Democrats were firmly for Sanders. Is a thing. That I, I think, like, for... The most politically conscious, maybe it was like Sanders, but then for the majority of college students, I got the impression that it was Biden. And then for me, because I am the smartest person. Okay, Andrew Yang. I really liked Andrew Yang, okay? He was the smartest person on that fucking stage. All right. And I want, okay, I'm tired. I, I really am tired of non-intellectual politicians be in charge of our government and society okay why can't we have somebody who actually know okay i want the philosopher king okay i want the philosopher not the i don't want the philosopher king i want the philosopher representative representative i want them to be voted in okay i don't want them to be authoritarian about it but i want a philosopher i want a scientist i want a person who actually knows shit to be a, a representative i do At the same time, I don't want our government to be completely technocratic in how we choose them, but I want our po I want the people running our government to we're like making legislation and stuff to actually know what the fuck they wanted to do. Uh, I was a radical compared to everyone. Yes, I was a radical compared to everyone else. And then all of a sudden, I get on Twitter, I get on Twitch, and then I get called a conservative, okay? Like, I, I, even if I wanted to call myself a leftist, I can't- I won't be accepted within the leftist group, okay? When it comes to identification, we have to take into account two things. External identification and internal. Even if I accepted my internal identification as a leftist, which, like, I probably would have done that if I knew about what, like, that leftist was a thing that, like, people call themselves. Like, I, I did not know that was a thing. Leftist. I knew leftism. <laughs> but I didn't know people call themselves leftists. Like, that, that, that's an entire category. It doesn't make sense. That was, that was something that I discovered new. Your college, per, uh, your college was like 70% for Sanders. It was tough for my college because there was like one... There was one group. It was like uh, call, students for Sanders. And like they had a tough time becoming a club. So then they just did things. They just like met up together on campus. 
And speaking of Sanders, look at what happened in Nevada. I wonder what's going to happen with that. I've read Hegel. Does that mean that you could be a philosopher representative? God fucking damn it. You know, you'll probably be better than like anybody else, but like you're, you're kind of too within the... Why am I answering this unironically? Un fuck my life. Uh, I remember Andrew Yang's first debate on CNN and his mic didn't even work so messed up. Yeah, fuck, fuck them, man. Even if it wasn't on purpose, fuck that. It sucks. He got shafted by the media. And like, I, co I completely understand why he did. Uh, I think they say left is a getaway from socialist as communist stigma. You know, one of something too is that like, even if they use the word leftist in order to not be labeled as a socialist or a communist, if I started railing against socialism and communism, they would start to they will start to defend it, which they shouldn't, in my opinion. In my opinion, they shouldn't. Okay, they should have been like Biden. You talk shit about socialism while slowly implementing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, MAGA people. That's right, conservatives and Republicans. You really thought that Biden was a socialist and he's gonna turn this country into a socialist? Into a socialist country? You're right, he is. But you're not going to get him to say that. Okay, he's never going to admit it, so... <laughs> that's how we make fun of it. The Amater has an internal note at some point to not platform Yang. It came out after the election. They thought he was some centrist. He wasn't! He's the most fucking progressive person! He's just practical about things, okay? Alright, being a leftist... I don't know why, but when it comes to leftists, you guys get points for being the most radical, for being the most crazy. It was like, oh, well, like, you want a $15 minimum wage? But I'm more woke than you. I'm gonna have a $25 minimum wage. No, a $50... $50 minimum wage. No, you know what? Like, the $1,400 shouldn't even be $2,000. People should be getting $10K, all right? I'm more progressive than you. Ah. That doesn't, that's not how that works. Where is the practical side of two leftism, all right? Leftism shouldn't be given, we should be given points on to who is the most progressive, but we should also be balancing the points that we give out to based on how practical they are. <laughs> Why is it like that? Oh, you don't think the media was biased against Yang? I know there was a paper on that I didn't read. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom. So, I'm not ending it here. This is a this is a wonderful stream. I'm kind of like, I'm so unhinged. You know, I've just had one drink. This is what it is. Thank you, Red Radio. Thank you very much. My God, that, that's that's how it feels. I uh, goodbye. <clears throat> I'm back. I did not fall in. Maybe I should have said that I fall fell in. Oh. 
Ooh. The young larpy leftists are why I no longer should <laughs> find leftists. I choose a party giant cannon to make sure I didn't have to deal with their craziness. <laughs> Alright, so like... It, it's, it's not like... Here's an issue. I understand that it's pretty cringe to not be a part of the group because of like some fringe actions such as craziness or whatnot. <clears throat> But then uh here 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 are like a couple of ways to actually deal with that. So you could either stay in there and reform it from the inside. You could accept it, go along with it. You could leave and protest, or you could um you could leave and and join the other side. Like there there are a couple of ways and I I, I forget which Arthur talked about the different ways of <clears throat> of reacting to like an organization that is dying or in need of reform so then in in like the way it is fair for people to be turned off by a group internally and and leaving in, in a way but like like some people will say like it's cringe like oh you just left the left because it was like it became too politically correct and all of a sudden you changed all your positions like no you're probably just more centrist or or, or you're probably just like leaving in protest like you're, you're still believing in the values of leftism but the current leftist group and their take on leftism is something that you don't agree with and therefore you can't join that group that's a thing Are you talking about Nevada Dems leaving? Okay, there's something going on with Nevada and Dems and like the DSA. Okay, I I have no idea. All right. It sounds like a pretty big deal, but I, I've just been out of it for the last couple of days. Do not ask me about that. All right, I'm admitting. Hey, Astro, I noticed you. Welcome back. How was shopping? Uh, the media was definitely biased against Yang. They had several times where they didn't report Yang's numbers, but they still reported numbers of people. Oh my god, Yang, his his picture being wrong. It was like a different Asian person. Oh my god. Dude, the mass media fucked up covering Yang. Yeah, no shot, however. Media plays a big role. Like, even if he doesn't have a shot, it became really hypocritical when people who were doing more, like, poorly than him were also being reported on. Like, it, it's, it's, it, I think it more has to do with him being an outsider than him being, like, Asian or anything. <clears throat> like, maybe they were, I think, like, maybe kind of spooked by Trump and didn't want to put in a person outside of the party establishment. Like he wasn't a politician. He didn't come up with like, and like now he, he he's actually like trying to be a politician. He's running for New York City mayor. He's doing really well, actually. Uh, he has like 30% as the first choice. So New York City is going to be doing... Oh, fuck. What is it called again? The, 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 it's, it's not a... Uh, it's not re representative. It's a... Uh... A runoff and it's not runoff it's a r fuck rcp what is it rcp all right new york rc what does rcp stand for no 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 it's, it's not real color politics it's um rank choice yes rcv not rcp rcv okay it's rank choice so New York City is doing rank choice, where not only do you put in your first vote, but you rank all the candidates from one to whatever place, and then they weight each rank. So then uh, that way, like your your first vote doesn't get thrown out if it's just like you it, gets, it goes down to the second vote and the third vote, blah 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 blah. Yeah, rank choice voting. So then even though Andrew Yang has like a plurality of the votes according to the poll. Like, he, he leads the poll. Like, the gap between first and second is double digits. Rank choice voting can still fuck him over.
Sometimes they wouldn't even put his pick. Yeah. They gave more coverage to that billionaire guy, not Bloomberg, the other one. It's Steyer. Not Steiner. Steiner. Steyer. Uh, S-T-E-Y-E-R. Yang is young and can run again after he gets more experience. I, I believe so, too. And um, he kind of has experience being a CNN commentator. He got to have his message. People know him more. He's getting a lot more publicity as well as a lot more of like he's building a name, a brand for himself. Name recognition is very important. Name recognition of Trump, his previous business ventures, was a big contributor to him running for the election and winning. Because people like knew him as a person. Like even I knew him. <clears throat> and that's some normie shit. Knowing about Trump before he was president kind of normie shit. Oh. I think one of the things that confused some people big time was his jokes about himself being Asian. Yes. I, one of the very common things of the all Asian everything. Oh, I need to talk about the all Asian. I'll do everything. But one of the common things about the all Asian everything, podcasts of Asian voices, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and like talking about Andrew Yang was like the, the constant people constantly bringing up. Oh, he made jokes. He made jokes, but he's a smart guy. He seems nice, but he made, he made this joke. He made this joke. He made these jokes. You know, at first, like here's my answer is that at first I was a bit weirded out by it but then it it it, it wasn't like with it, with malice it was kind of funny i even use them myself i i really do okay i'm a perpetrator of asian jokes lamau uh reading steiner steinsgate is what i get reminded of when it comes to steiner but um isn't a steiner like one of the people in the Adolf Hitler scene. It's like Steiner. This other person. The third person. Those who I didn't name leave this room. And then he goes on his rant. Now, do people know that? The YouTube Hitler meme. Isn't Steiner one of them? <laughs> that's why that's why I keep on saying Steiner. Like. Like it's in uh, some <clears throat> some dumb German accent, a, a good attempt of a German accent. You think of the rest of the Steiner. I also think of Steins Gate, but it's not Steiner. It's Steins. The Mac. They think it's Steiner from Monster. Monster. Monsters Inc. Or just Monster. I wonder, uh, am I getting a, uh, a thing on my bob? Who, who the f- Red Radius, you should, uh, put, like, season four, but also which episode for spoilers. There's an anime called Monster? You know that Hitler scene meme, but I think it was something else besides Steiner. Uh, yeah, I think it was 13. There's two... There's three more episodes, so I think that was 13, yeah. <sighs> All right. What the fuck is going? Oh shit, that was going on. All right. You're so ready for Sunday? Ha, ah, Sunday. I get it now. When Attack on Titan comes out, uh, you're excited for Sunday, guys. Be excited for Saturday. Saturday is the first ever Senpai Child Thingamabob anime weekly movie hosting. Okay, I, I completely botched that, but you get it, all right? Am I doing chat engagement right? Am I doing community engagement right? And uh, I, I think for the first movie that we're gonna watch is. 
like one of my favorites uh i think we're gonna go for ghibli because it's safe but it's not re it's not really ghibli uh nausicaa of the valley of the wind i think even if you've seen it multiple times that movie never gets old yeah i I'm, i made it official as i was walking down the stairs returning from the bathroom nausicaa of the valley of the wind that's the decision. We're going to be watching that this Saturday. What time, though, is... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to probably do it at night after my stream. So I'm going to I stream Saturdays. And then uh, multiple times during Saturday, I'll advertise it. And then we'll watch it after I stream. You won't be able to join... No! Okay. I want people to make it. So then if... Like, even if you can't make it Saturday, uh, it, it's still not, like, so solidified Saturday. Oh, how about this? Let's check. All right, I have a poll. Let's check. Let's check the poll. Okay, eight votes for Saturday. So far, it's going to be Saturday. If it's not going to be Saturday, it's going to be Sunday. Vote in the poll. Vote in the poll. I think I chose Saturday. I think the reason why I chose Saturday is because it was on a weekend and it was also after I streamed. So that I could have the Sunday to myself or I could focus on something on Sunday. Alright, Radius. If you didn't do it already, vote in the poll. Okay, let's, let's see. Did somebody vote? No, it's still the same. 23. I'm very surprised that 23 people voted here. Cause like I put it on Twitter, I put it on my Discord, and I was like, there's... I don't think like more than 10 people were gonna do this. But people did, I was like, do you even know me? <laughs> Are you just voting for which day? <laughs> do you actually want to come? Like, I have no idea if these 8 people who voted Saturday actually want to come on Saturday. Ah... <laughs> uh... It is 8 people. It's 8 people of, of 20... You know what? How about this? Uh, what if we do a what if we did a runoff? Like, what if we did Saturday versus Sunday? Okay. No, no, no. Um, here's the thing. Oh wait, total votes twenty three by eight. Oh, cause I, it, it it is total eight people, eight voters. Why eight voters isn't like the majority or who leads? It's because people can vote multiple times. Oh, I see. Now that makes sense. Okay, now the number makes sense. There was a total of eight voters and that's about my community. So it seems like everybody who voted votes for Saturday. Wait, this is actually great. This is wonderful. I swear to God, if somebody messaged up, yes. I want to like this. This is beautiful. Oh, that was so stupid me. I thought this by eight voters was the lead and that the 23 were the total number of votes, but I was fucking dumbass. I specifically said it so that you could vote for multiple days. You don't even need a runoff. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a runoff. This is like perfect. No, maybe that's what we should do. Democratically, you sh we should be able to vote for any candidate that we like. And then whoever wins the most wins. It's ranked choice voting, but egalitarian. It's not ranked. It's, it's all weighted equally. Now, what are the problems to that? There's probably problems to that. I'm just elated to not figure it out. All right, today was a very thought-provoking day. God damn it! I spoiled a little bit by, by, by showing that to you guys. Unfortunate. You don't vote on Discord because you don't trust the system could have rigged. Oh my God, Astro. You don't have to vote on Discord. You, you can vote on the poll, the straw poll. How can you rig the straw poll?
And by the way, what what is please 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 tell me okay to watch something that isn't Vosh versus uh fuck Mike from PA Central Committee. Do not okay. I want to watch something while like I game just to test things out. I really want to. All right. Let's experiment. Let us expand. So, what is something to watch? That is not that, because I... Everybody has covered it, and it's... Just leash content like Danabo. Uh, who's, who's fucking streaming right now? No, like, I, I do want to leech content. But, like, I, I don't want to, like, watch somebody stream. Like, I want to watch a video. I'm going to speed things up. Oh, you know what? Okay. Did Dylan Burns... I'm a Dylan Burns orbiter. How, how can I... Forget that, okay? Bill and Burns TV is there. He 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 made a video about fish. I don't know why he made a fucking video. He, he uploaded a three-hour video on him watching Vosh versus Mike for PA. That's actually leeching. Make a highlights reel at least, okay? Is fishing immoral? Do I? Do you guys want to watch? Is fishing immoral? God damn. Let you check your YouTube. Yes, Red! Yes! Watch Danable, watch panels. What panel is he watching? Today is Wednesday. What's happening Wednesday? The all Asian everything is supposed to happen yesterday. All right. I, I can't, I, I can't have that music. You know what? No, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Alright. So, it is with a heavy heart that I have to break this news to you. For a long time now, I've been doing something and it needs to end. It's something that I've worked a lot on and it, it really pains me to deliver this news. The all Asian everything is over. There, there's no more. I, I'm just kidding. It's, it's not over. <laughs> it's just on hold. Okay, so TLDR, Stories has Models. He was a producer of the show. Something has come up and he no longer can put in the effort to produce the show. So we are looking for a replacement in order to produce the show. I'm, a, I'm the moderator. So it, it, there's enough interest for people to continue the show as panelists. But right now we're in the process of finding a new producer. <laughs> That's it. Okay. And all this producer does is create the topics and find the panelists. Well, that's all there is. Oh shit! You know what? Speaking of panels, I was also supposed to have an open panel today, but I chose not to, uh, because it starts at five. Okay, uh huh. Gonna do that because of reasons. All right, back to the happy music. <laughs> I I couldn't I couldn't handle the truth. That's right. Uh, what the fuck? What am I the 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 information provided on this website does not and is not intended to constitute legal advice. Instead, all information, content, and materials available are provided solely for entertainment purposes. Contact your pharmacist or doctor and the legal advice lasts longer than two- What the fuck? Holy matter, what are, what are you doing? That is- that does not belong in the, uh, big brainer of the month. How Asian do I need to be? Do I need to submit my Ancestry.com to get on? For you? Yeah. The truth of the moral righteousness of... God damn. Lolly Mater, I'm really surprised I was able to read all of that. Wait, did I get baited? There's no way that's like a copy pasta that leads to a funny joke. It's not like a Ligma joke. 
Red, okay, I, I, I'm telling you, all right? I've already spoiled it. I already plan on making a video, a politics anime video on Attack on Titan. It's a good copy pasta. <laughs> you can't even read it. Oh, uh, let, let's see. I, I ran from a debate. I, I, you think I would run from a debate? So, it is with a heavy heart that I have to break this news to you. For a long time now, I've been doing something and it needs to end. It's something that I've worked a lot on and this is gonna get DMC it really needs me to deliver this news. The all Asian everything is over. There, there's no more. I, I'm just kidding. It's, it's not over. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh is so cringe. The open panel didn't. Ha the real reason why the open panel didn't happen is because of you. If I can't read it, then how did I read it? You could barely read it. It's so small. Wait, attack. Uh, you mean AOT, not a, a, a thought. A thought. I'm scared of you being right about Aaron. You're not right about Aaron. God damn it. I want to... Red. I want to spoil the manga to you. I want to ruin your life. I want... Because I know... I know you'd be scarred. Alright? But I'm not evil, okay? I'm not an evil person. I'm a very nice person. And you know what? People take advantage of me being nice. People do. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm being mean from now on. I'm gonna become people dumb. Cause they deserve it. That's right. It's it's the destiny. It's the destiny arc. <laughs> I'm gonna copy destiny. It works! It's working. Red Raiders, I will ruin your attack on time experience. I know you care a lot. I really will. But I won't. I will restrain myself. You see, I keep on telling you that I will, but it, it's the threat that matters, right? No, it's not even the threat. It's the ability. I have the ability. I have the leverage. This is politics, guys. I have the leverage to do something really bad to you. I'm just choosing not to. You could consider yourself lucky, but just know that there's something looming over your attack on Titan life. And it is me. And what's standing between me and you is my kindness. Do it. You know you'll still be right. You fear no man. Oh, wow. And he's egging me on. I do have the big stick. And Red Radius doesn't know. He doesn't know how thick this stick is. It's going to hurt. It's going to make a really loud noise. It could go plap. It's plap, 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 plap. The sword of Damascus over, over his ALT life. I will. I'll guarantee it up. I'll spin. I will spin. I will swing. And I will stab. It will happen. It will come from the sky. You will be smitten. Is this a threat or an invitation? However you want to take it, Red. However you want to take it. Wait, so what am I watching? Red! Did you bait me? You said you had something on your YouTube. Roa. Rod of Ages. Is there a Rod of God now? Do you think there's gonna be another season of the Tower of God? Or God of High School? What other anime had God in it? What did you look? Stop looking. Oh no. Unfortunate. 
I I I want to be a Dylan stand. I really do want to be a B Dylan Burns stand. I really want to do be a Dylan Burns orbiter, but like it, it's it guys, it's so much easier to be a Destiny orbiter. Okay. Because this guy posts his videos like every day, multiple times every day, and it's all live because he's not a partner anymore. So he, he could he could just like have a stream and then within the next hour post stuff from that stream. Like it's all up to date. He's fucking live right now, guys. It's so easy being a Destiny Orbiter. Look at all this fucking content, right? Just from like eight hours ago, 16 hours ago, one day ago. Three things to choose from from one day. But then we go to Dylan Burns, okay? Eight hours ago, one thing, but it's just phosphorus with my PP. I don't want to do that. And is fishing immoral? What does Destiny have? I'm gonna mute you! Kalinsky is cringe! And uh, Mike from PA is like, haha, but like, Mike from PA and Destiny have a history. So then they could play into that. But uh, I, I, I believe in Dylan Burns TV and his goals, his message, his story. That's why I'll continue to be your, your, your orbiter until it is no longer of utility. You know, people think I'm a re you think I'm an idealist? I'm not. I'm really not an idealist. I, 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 I have a real, I have a realist inside of me that always pounds my head and whispers into my ear like, Hey, you know, this is suboptimal. There's like a better thing to do, right? And you're doing it wrong. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I, I can't listen. Okay. It's like that devil on my shoulder. And it's like, ha ah, do this thing. It's like, yeah, just insult this person. Use your ad homs. Lie about it. Be bad faith, okay? You'll get the clicks. Controversy gets views. Just do it, just do it. I'm like, no, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't. It's like, the, the, the idealist angel has to be like, no, child, don't do it. Hey, choose yourself. The truth is what is what matters most. We have to think along uh, what we want to aspire to, blah, 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 blah. I thought, Astro, I thought you just, um, spelled whatever city that, uh, like, Garen and Lux are apart. And I thought that was a, a League reference. Got fucked. I swear to God, I'm gonna get rid of I didn't! What was the Sword of Democles? The famed sword dates back to an ancient moral parable popularized by Roman philosopher Cicero. Wait, wasn't Cicero... Shut up. Wasn't Cicero also emperor? In his 45 BCE, excuse me, uh, book Tusculan Disputations, blah, 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 He ruled, his iron-fisted rule had made him many enemies. He was tormented by fears of assassination, so much that he slept in a bedchamber surrounded by a moat and only trusted his daughters to shave his beard with a razor. What the fuck? Damn, this guy has got some... Got some issues. All right, that, that's that's a thing. You've wanted to start Tower of God, you just haven't yet. Uh, it's mediocre. Being an Arison is better. Just saying, no, it's not. Oh my god, such a Machiavellian. I, it, there's there's a Machiavellian inside of me. Okay, and it's it's very scary. Uh, how like, not on camera it pops up. Like on camera. I maintain myself as an idealist, but then off camera, it pops up, okay? It really does. My conscious angel sounds like a Mickey Mouse. Because Mickey Mouse is awesome. You know what? Like, even though I don't watch a lot of Disney, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse's voice as like the, oh, I'm the good person, and I'm fun, and I'm hopeful. It got into me. Disney brainwashed me. Walt Disney, you got me. You even got me. Feel proud. Uh, Damages is also one of the ships in Kogios, Democles. Uh, okay. Not even Kim Jong-un is that paranoid. Cicero was an emperor, but he was council, which is close. Oh my god, okay. Council. Just one of the two people on the same level as emperor. JP too? Who's JP? Mickey Mouse would definitely act like this Mickey Mouse character in a South Park. 
Maybe I just have a good Mickey Mouse impression. Dude, this song is a banger right here. This is Hennis's hunting ground. You being on the haystack, and you're just throwing your throwing your shuriken, doing your bows, and you're killing the orange mushrooms. And it's a party. Channel one. And this is hunting ground. It's just a party. Oh, that was. It sounds like Stardew Valley music. It's Maple Story music. Orange mushroom caps. That was a quest. It still is a quest. Oh man. What what are your favorite Maple Story animations? Okay, I have two. Maple Combat and the Maple Story one. Not, oh my god, there was a Maple Story anime. <laughs> there was a fucking anime on Maple Story. I remember this. This fucking dude. This guy was the main character. Yeah, there was. But, uh... Uh, oh, this one. Okay, New Leaf Saga. That's what I was looking for. So there's New Leaf Saga and there's Maple Combat. Those are my favorite. <laughs> it is absolute trash. <laughs> Let's watch something from it. This is the opening. It's only in three. Okay, yeah, so like this is this was a really good opening. Oh wait, wait, we could watch the entire anime on YouTube. This is sub. This is episode one, one out of three. Oh my god. Remember those days? I remember those days. Okay, so in this basement, there used to be a couch here. And I remember laying on this couch a lot and just watching anime on YouTube. And they will cut it in like a third. So it'd be like one out of three. It'll be the worst. The worst was when there was no second part. Like it skipped to the third. And I was like, well, how am I going to like feel myself? And I, I remember uh, one of the animes that I watched on this couch that was here. Oh my God. We threw that couch out. There was a lot of memories. I made a lot of memories on that couch. Uh, God, that sounded so wrong. Anyways, uh, one of the anime that I watched was uh, Kaicho wa Meitsama was um uh, fuck what was it uh made sama what what is that in english what is that in english uh something to do with like president and maid i don't know okay whatever you probably guess what it and it was it was like that it was like one third two thirds three thirds something like that what? pretty sure it's just made sama probably okay yeah you you, you watched it <laughs> All right, but uh, I I think like something that bothered me the most was like this the, the guys the adventurers are friends with the monsters like no we're supposed to be killing the monsters we're not supposed to be running next to them in fields like these guys aren't our friends they're supposed to drop stuff we're supposed to loot their bodies they're supposed to give us meso and materials and we want a quest to eradicate the monsters the monsters the bad guys drop. Something really political that I didn't think was going to get really political. Uh, 
reincarnated as a slime. The time I was reincarnated as a slime, the recent episodes I could really use for some politics and anime content. Really could. I'm getting a lot of ideas from that. Nexon should make another Maple Story. No. No. Uh, what Nexon should do is give us proper compensation. Oh my god, I'm getting a. Yo, the clips! The clips are coming out! Yeah, we threw that couch out. There was a lot of memories. I made a lot of memories on that couch. Uh, God, that sounded so wrong. God damn it. Guys, I have, I have moments. I have good moments on my stream, okay? It doesn't have to be these cringe moments. Like, what if like, oh wow, child, that was a really base take. Let me clip that for you. Why doesn't that happen? That's right, because Twitch viewers, Twitch chat is just full of just full of attention seeking, bad media, uh, what not, controversy gets clicks. You're that type of group. I know it. You know what? It's only when people No, it's only when people only obtain like the hydrate thingy my bob when i finish my water like it's never when i have water that people redeem hydrate that's why i don't get 100 plus views chinchilla let's be controversial okay who do i attack uh kion on twitter <laughs> what's going on twitter okay who do i attack let's scroll down God, this is so boring. Whoa, imagine. Imagine this was the group of people you had to go up against. All right. I'm pretty sure that's from Hunter x Hunter. That's like Hainu, Aizen, Madara. Uh, that guy's from... I'm pretty sure this guy's from One Punch Man. But this guy's actually not that strong. Like, in comparison to the, these other guys... In comparison to these other guys, this guy is not strong. Like, they hyped him up, but then only for a side to... Okay, no, alright. Season 2, One Punch Man spoilers. Actually, I'm okay with spoiling One Punch, One Punch Man in Season 2. It's been long enough and it was like a pretty bad... Who the fuck is this guy though? Who is this guy? Does anybody know who this guy is? Anyone recognize him? Like this is a this is a sick cast, especially these three: One Piece, Bleach, and uh, and Madara. Actually, I wouldn't even put Aikainu. You know who's a the big villain of One Piece is Blackbeard. Why would he put Aikainu? Aikainu is like nothing. I kind of can't even beat a single emperor. Like, I'm pretty sure the admirals are not as strong. They're not like emperor level. Like, they need to be together in order to fight the emperors. Like, think about it, okay? Whitebeard was an emperor. Definitely emperor level. In fact, like, one of the strongest Yonko. And, like, I kind of got fucked by Whitebeard. And that was when Whitebeard was, like, sick and. He was weakened, he was tired, and he had to deal with other shit. And like, I kind of got fucked. Yeah, I, I just like, I don't agree with that kind of, I don't agree with uh, the one punch, one punch Man guy, and I just don't know who this guy is, okay? This guy looks like Cell, okay? He has a tail and has a syringe, okay? It's, it's fucking Cell. It's fake Cell. And who is this guy? What does he do? Mel is too easy. I, I know Mel is too easy. I, I kind of already went over that. Attack redacted from redacted. Why do people say redacted from redacted? Just say Mike from PA. What's wrong with Mike from PA? What is wrong with central? Okay, okay. There's there's something. I don't, I don't know why people have to say redacted from redacted. It's so... Oh, that's cringe. That is actually cringe. 
It looks like anime Batman. It's the CA King. What's a California King? I think I kind of will get a buff at a certain point, I think, but not end boss. Maybe. Okay, so then, like, they definitely have to end something off with the Marines. Okay, they have to. I just don't think it's going to be like that thing. Okay, so, um, kind of my thought process was maybe it's Shanks. No, okay, maybe Shanks is the big bad boss. Okay, like Shanks is the last person that Luffy has to get through in order to achieve the One Piece and become Pirate King. Like, think about it this way. Luffy started out being a pirate because of Shanks. It would be such a wonderful story to end off with Shanks being the big bad boss all along. Not as in, like, he is the villain because Shanks is actually, like, a really good person. But, but like, to be like Luffy, I also have this dream. And you have to get, in, like, I'm going to be in your way. And then it's going to be the battle of the will. Like, this is going to be, like... And, like, Luffy. How could Luffy, all right, ever fight against a mentor? Or, like, somebody who inspired him? Like, that's something. Like, to, in order to surpass the person who set you on this journey. Oh, that is such a... Hire me. Okay. Somebody hire me. This is... Chimera King. Chimera Ant King. This is Chimera and King? From where? Probably gonna be Akainu versus Ak Akiji. I want- I want that to be animated. I want their first fight to be anime. I want there to be- I want uh, the second thing to be animated. And then the Marines team up with Luffy, with uh, Akaji being the leader of the Marines. You know, like, they kind of already did something with the Neo Marines, with- uh, with, like, one of the movies, but then, like, the movie is not canon, so maybe they could st still do something like a New York Marines by a a a a a Akiji versus the legit Marines by Akainu. Man, okay, like, One Piece... One Piece is getting there, guys. It really is. Uh, I I'm not excited for the anime. The anime is, is like, a trash adaptation now. Uh, there's so much empty space. It's such a waste of time. The manga, though. That's that's where it's at. One Piece manga. Are we running today? I don't think... Confirm Friday 8pm, please. Yeah, I could do Friday. Okay, may, uh, I shouldn't be showing this to you guys. Holy shit! What is this? What the fuck? Ninja Castle is handing them out like candy. Oh my god! No way! I won't give One Piece spoilers. This is a spoiler-free chat. There's no way. Oh my god. I, I, I'm not even gonna abuse it. I can't do it. Okay. Maple Story is a very special game. And every single patch notes, they have to fuck up something. And then uh, we abuse the shit out of it. Oh my god, that's this is. How? How did this happen? You fucking hate spoilers on YouTube from the manga like it's nothing? Dude, I, I hate just spoilers in general. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube is one of them, honestly. It's, it's up there. You never search One Piece on YouTube. You get insta-50 spoilers just by looking at the thumbnail. Yeah! Dude, I totally get it. Especially... Uh, whatchamacallit, Attack on Titan. Like, it, it didn't really affect me because, uh... I already spoiled myself via the manga. But I feel for other people, y'all. I feel for other people. Actual Justice Warrior tries to school in economics, but it's economics, and it goes about as embarrassing as you'd expect. AJW. Actual Justice Warrior. Interesting. Oh, it's fucking Richard Wolf. It's that guy. Celebrity. Celebrity academic. 
Uh, it's not as bad as, say, the... What, the intellectual dark web? But... A lot of it is still entertainment. Blah. Bro, there's nothing going on, on Twitter. Okay, that's done. No more, no more. Haha, uh, <laughs> Jordan Peterson, intellectual dork. He's a dork web. Uh, house votes to clear 1.9 trillion COVID really feel nice. Okay, that's that's your daily news. That's your daily dose of news. That's all you need to know. I should at least update Maple Story while I do this. I have no idea if I'll actually play. Let's see. Uh, wow, I've streamed for two hours. Genius of the month. That's 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 the. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna probably have to rebrand it from Genius of the Month to something else, something like more anime. Like, I don't want to say, like, Chatter of the Month, Kaiho of the Month, maybe Kaiho. Kohai, Kohai, not Kaiho, Kohai. Kohai of the Month. Make it anime. Anime fire! Anime, 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 what? Your ALT takes should get me the genius of the month, by the way. Why am I discriminating against me? Listen here, okay? I'm the Senpai! I'm the Seito Kaicho! Go through me. Is there seriously nothing to react to? Okay, Reddit. There has to be. There has to be something on Reddit. Okay, I don't care if it's political. No! I just got baka I got fucking baka Welcome home again, double lift. What? What the fuck? What do you mean? Wait, 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 what? My new money goal, new credit card, new console, then use the cashback rewards for a new- Shut up. He's officially a streamer. I still want to watch. Oh my god. Something in here? Peter. What are you doing in there? Oh, I'm teamless again, dude. <laughs> Can you help me? How long have you been teamless again? A few hours. It's this oh my god, again. let's get you inside. Did you shower? Mm -hmm. You should change. I have something better for you. It's oh, the thanks. same shirt! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe it's a bit different. Oh, this is a bit different. Legendary. I'm legendary. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think that I think that Vulcan. No. Vulcan is God. <laughs> I'm legendary. You know. Let's go. This is such a this is such bad quality. Wait, 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 wait. There's why is it at three? What? I'm sorry. I don't know why it was at 360. There's no way that was that such bad quality. It kind of looks grady too. Better though. No, it's not old. Damn, that is. GG. That was a play. Oh, he plays Genshin? Does anyone ever actually fail these? He's gonna fail it. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Guys. Guys! Or is dodging. That was a terrible surfing ult. He did no nothing. Impact just. Ooh, so good! Oh my god, so good! Holy sh. Holy sh. Guys. After seeing Senna getting almost no that was I know it's. I know it's bit troll. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Solo kill. Dead. Oh. No way! 
Wow, I haven't watched LCS in so long. That was pretty hype. I kind of miss it. Maybe League Stream? No, stop, stop. Oh my god. People tell me to play League, and then when I play League, nobody watches. Guys? <laughs> that was a good play. Wait, how did he die? Wait, 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 wait. Where did he die from? Ezreal? Ezreal? Oh? Guys? <laughs> Ezra ulted that. Why was that not shown? Oh my god. Just play option, you'll play with me. Oh No, I can't. Oh, wait. Mirror match? No, it's not. I thought he was playing Fedora. What, what, what champion is that? And I swear to god, if Jin doesn't go cleanse this game, I'm gonna f lose my mind. Uh, people do the same thing with me and World of Warcraft, but watching a WoW stream is fucking boring. Aphelios, newer champion. Dude, like, I've... There was one time I did play League of Legends for a bit, like, maybe a couple months ago. But I just... I couldn't get into it. Not again. It was... I'm gonna lose my, it's my mind, it's guys. Not my He's thing. getting dope. It's Alistar TF. Please go cleanse. Okay, come on. It's not cleanse. What is this to tours, dude? Stop it with the cinematics. No! <laughs> Just play Aram at this point? Yeah, no, like, I want to play Summoner's If I'm playing League, I'll play fucking Summoner's Rift. Dead. See you guys. This, this is the ideal kind of YouTube content that people ought to strive to create. Is not just clips, but also like these special effects, like the boom and then the music that adds onto it that syncs up with the hype moments. I want to, if I want a YouTube editor, I want a YouTube editor that does this for me. All right, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, you hit diamond before you don't need to play ranked. <laughs> I hit like I think plat four was my highest or plat three was the highest and I was satisfied. Like I thought this is how I quit league. One year, I tried really hard. I got plat four. I took a break. I said next season I'm gonna try to get for diamond. The next season came. I looked at league. I didn't. I didn't play it. And that's how I quit. Guys, so that's oh, kind of. I see. I see. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this game just shows that eighty carries broken. Eighty carries is kind of really broken. Is, like, <laughs> Uh, there are some things I cannot watch, League, WoW, and Leftist book reading streams. Oh. Wait, Leftist actually read books? Shit, damn. Hog. You know what? Okay, so here's something really hypocritical. I subject to you guys reading, like, articles. I really do, okay? But then when I find myself in another person's stream, and they're also doing the same thing, I can't do it. I can't stay. It's really hypocritical of me. That's really bad. <laughs> I expect you guys to stay and watch and learn, but I can't even do... I can't reciprocate. That's really fucked up. Theory stream readings are fucking boring. Uh, man. Red, like, this is now all of a sudden giving me, like, signals as to, like, I probably should change up, which, like, I have been changing up my content. Like, I'm not just reading things on stream. I don't read the whole thing. Um, or like, I, I kind of like try to filter the best out of something in order to get you guys the best thing in as fast as possible, but also in an entertaining way. And then like, when it comes to, I guess, the actual learning, I've kind of replaced the readings into listening to lectures. That's what I should be doing. Okay. Well, I, I think I am doing that and I need to improve on it. They read marks on stream and stuff. I, I think, uh, like, what I should be doing is instead of reading an entire article, unless the article is really important, uh, if I'm going to be, I, I shouldn't be reading an entire article, but I should, like, have a topic and be like, okay, in this article and these, par and these passages are going to help us understand this topic. And then we read those passages and we're like, okay, any questions? And something like that. You like the lectures I was watching? It's a good series. Nice. Okay. But Red... I'm telling you, if there's like 10 people who are like, fuck that, 
I'm just gonna leave you. I'm just kidding. Ah, oh, man. How do I grow on this? Okay, I followed Mike pretty much instantly after Dylan hosted me. I think I was talking about China, and I found it so interesting. Hog Earth, yeah. Oh. So then, like, at that point, instead of reading entire articles, find passages. Okay. Something, something, something to look at. Okay, what, what else is in my feed? Uh, what a mess. Noise storm. Lecture 8. Lecture 8, I'm going to be watching that on Monday. I do Monday lecture uh, streams where I listen to a person's lecture. I give commentary. Uh, I answer questions. I learn myself too. Anime. There's a lot of anime videos. There's a lot of anime videos because I'm trying to like do my own research. and like I want to see how people are covering anime blogs or anime video essays. Because that's what I'm more so going to be doing next. What is a man? There's, there's like nothing in my feed that is helping. No, it's not. This is not helpful. Is fishing wrong? Uh, so the main criticism I get from you talking about China is that I was too nice to China, but that's like you just talking too nice for this world. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! Yeah, you had that conversation with um. Elysium. Elysium. How'd that go? <gasps> Dario! I miss Dario! Alright, what, what's going on on Twitch? How about that? Twitter didn't help, YouTube's not helping. What's going on on Twitch? On a lefty panel, post talk after. The fuck? There's a lefty panel going on right now? Yeah, was it, is he it on Tom Foolery? Is Tom Foolery not streaming yet? This is a pre-panel. He needs to change his title. Wait, this is a lefty panel? Demon Mama, Joe Lewis, Han. Hans is not a lefty. Bosch SDL. Interesting. Is Hans an lefty? Danimo is leaking right now. I swear to God, Danimo is doing... Okay, we're about doing the same. Singing, definitely no drama. He's singing. No, he's not singing. Okay, he also needs to change his video title. What's with people are not changing their video title? Uh, what is what is going on? Worldwide protests in Chinese development loans with communist Buddhists. Kami Buddhists, oh. Cool. What is this song? You like it? Ooh. You know, I, I should like figure out um I think it is it song? Wait, wait. What are my nightbot commands? Nightbot command. <laughs> There's a way. Default. Commands, commercial filter, game, market poll, songs. Provides users in the chat with the ability to request songs. Tags, winner. Songs. Huh? Current. Alright, so. Songs. All right. Oh no! It ended. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Outer God, I'm sorry. I missed it. Okay, I I know I know the song though. I know the song though. Okay, it's um. Mirror World. It starts with an M. St. It is Zero's Temple, Zero's Temple, Zero's Temple, Zero's Temple, Zero's Temple, Mirror War, Ariant. It's not Mirror. It's Megasha. It's fucking Megasha. Where's Megasha? There it is. I found it for. I got you. Dude. I still play this game. 
Do you really think I would not know what song is on my playlist from MapleStory? Otters. Mm. Can I be your... What? Hawk champ. Sen Wait, senpai champ? No. Hawk senpai. Can I be your Pog senpai? Does that work? No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Ah. Oh wait, I was supposed to be on Twitch looking for content to steal. Oh, champagne noticing me. Ma me 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 me. Ma 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 ma. The song slap sounds like something that would be on Soul Eater. It is. I agree. Oh, what's Dylan doing? He's playing games and yelling at chatters. How about I play a game and yell at chatters? Who is this person? Next natural step is to implement it federally. Uh, and the way that elections are run, uh, I mean, the states run their own federal. Play League with my chatters? No. I will not play League. I won't do it. Okay. Nobody is really doing something that interests me. I don't know if I'm interested, but Hacha and the Sturfs had a nice chat yesterday. Seems like a nice bridge between Lib and a leftist. Ha! Huh. Is it on YouTube? The TV. Pa 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 pa. Reactionary are mad about bunny boobs. Crowder, racist, terrible, horrible, very good marketing. HAW doesn't like it. Prager U. Uh, Vouch. Okay, it doesn't seem like it's on YouTube. No, I'm not going to do that. I've ever played any of the Total War games. I think political streamers would like the content. I do, I've never played any of the Total War games. Oh, let's see. Total War. Let me see if I could. The fuck? Oh no! It's this game. No, this is, dude. This is some like hardcore shit. I'm pretty sure there's some hardcore shit. Uh, I played Civ. <laughs> How about that? I play Civ, and then I sometimes play EU4. I used to play, uh, EU4 a lot, but I just I'm I'm more of a Civ person. When am I going to drop my redo of a healer review? <sighs> wow. Alright, I am not endorsing any bets. Here's a disclaimer on gambling, blah 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 blah. Okay, Reddit. Reddit was actually pretty helpful. Like, I got something from Reddit. So maybe Reddit's going to help me. The economic benefits of conserving or restoring natural sites now outweigh the profit potential of converting them for intensive human use. Wow, okay. Uh, this is according to researchers behind the largest ever study comparing the value of protecting nature at particular locations with that of exploiting it. Wow. You guys hear that? Now we could have an economic argument for preserving nature. Is that it is economically more profitable than using it for human use. Let's go. Oh, you caught me. My debate bro tactics. Yeah, I haven't mined coin in a while. I have five, I have like, what? Five dollars in Bitcoin, I think. Or Ethereum, something like that. Bombshell report. Oh shit! Oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, 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 this thing. Um, okay. This is probably something like serious to to read instead of now. But this thing happened. A uh, Newslight Institute, a I think it's a think tank, had published a report. The 
Uyghur Genocide and Examination of China's Breaches of the 1948 Genocide Convention. And the headline that we just saw on Reddit was Bombshell Report Finds Beijing Breaching Every Provision of UN Genocide Convention. And I wonder if this is in reference to the oh, same... Uh, shut the fuck up. Is this the same one? Yeah, the news line is to a strategic and policy. Okay. Uh, this is a really long report. I have not read it, but here's what I'm going to do. There's a summary section. All right, forward. <clears throat> Don't matter. Here's the executive summary. <laughs> this report concludes that the People's Republic of China bears state responsibility for committing genocide against the Uyghurs in breach of the 1948 Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide based on an extensive review of the available evidence and application of international law to the evidence of the facts on the ground. The examination was conducted by recognized independent experts on international law, genocide, China's ethnic policy, and Xinjiang's Uyghur Autonomous Region. Intent to destroy. Under Article 2 of the Genocide Convention, the Commission of Genocide requires the intent to destroy, in whole or in part, a protected group as such. The, intended, the intent to destroy does not require explicit statements. Intent can be referred from a collection of objective facts that are attributable to the state, including official statements, a general plan, state policy and law, a pattern of conduct, and repeated destructive acts, which have logical sequence and results. Destruction of that group as such, in whole or in substantial part. High-level statements of intent and general plan. In 2014, China's head of state, President Xi Jinping, launched the People's War on Terror, making the areas where Uyghurs constitute nearly 90% of the population of the front, uh, the front line. High-level officials followed up with orders to round up everyone who should be rounded up, wipe them out completely, destroy them root and branch, and break their lineage, break their roots, break their connections. This is some really deep, this is some really deep dark shit. And break their origins. Officials described Uyghurs with dehumanizing terms and repeatedly linking the mass internment of Uyghurs to eradicating tumors. Five, comprehensive state policy, pattern of contact and repeated destructive acts. A. Government mandated home stays. Since 2014, the government of China has deployed Han cadres to reside in Uyghurs' homes as monitors, resulting in the rupturing of family bonds. County governments further coerce, incentivize, and actively promote Han Uyghur, Uyghur marriages. Yeah, this is where all of a sudden the Third Amendment really does become pretty relevant, okay? Mass internment. In 2017, the, X, uh, the XUAR legislature formally legalized the mass internment of Uyghurs under de-extremification regulations. The top security officials and ent entities dispatched a manual and set a documents across the region with orders to police Uyghurs, speed up the construction and expansion of the mass internment camps, increase in the discipline and punishment within the camps, and maintain strict secrecy over all information which is not to be disseminated nor open to the public. The manual outlets, the complex hierarchy of officials, entities, and the centralized digital surveillance system overseeing the entire campaign. Yeah, the centralized the centralized digital surveillance system. That is some really future dystopian shit. A uh, mass birth prevention strategy. China has simultaneously pursued a dual systematic strategy of forcibly sterilizing Uyghur women in childbearing age and interning Uyghur men in childbearing years, preventing the regenerative capacity of the group and envisioning an attempt to biologically destroy the group as such, according to government statistics and directives, including to carry out family planning sterilization, low fertility levels, and leave no blind spots, China is carrying out a well-documented state-funded birth prevention campaign targeting women of childbearing age in weaker concentrated areas with mass forced sterilizations, abortions, and IUD placements. China explicitly admits to the purpose of these campaigns is to ensure that Uyghur women are no longer baby-making machines. That is eugenics. Forcible transfer of Uyghur children to state-run facilities. Persuade to new government policy in 2017, China began building a vast network of massive state-run, highly scrutinized boarding schools and orphanages to confine Uyghur children, including infants full-time, 
XUAR counties receive special quotas from higher authorities to institutionalize such orphans who often lose both parents to internment or forced labor. Sound familiar? It should, because it's what the United States and other Western countries did similarly to their respective indigenous populations. Re-education. Forcibly, okay? If you're critical of that, you ought to be critical of this, okay? Don't be a hypocrite. Eradication of Uyghur identity, community, and domestic life. Persuaded to government campaigns, local authorities have eliminated Uyghur education, destroyed Uyghur ar architecture and household features, and damaged, altered, or completely demolished the vast majority of mosques and sacred sites in the region, while closing off other sites or converting them to commercial spaces. All right, this is the destruction of culture. That is against international law. Selective targeting and intellectuals and community leaders. The attempt to destroy the Uyghurs as a group is further demonstrated by the government's deliberate targeting of the guardians and transmitters of Uyghur identity for prolonged detention or death, including household heads, intellectuals, and cultural leaders, regardless of party affiliation or educational status. The deliberate targeting of Uyghur leaders and sacred sites invites an attempt to destroy the essential elements of Uyghur identity and communal bonds, which define the group as such. China's policy, um, holy shit! China's policies and practices targeting Uyghurs in the region must be viewed with their totality, which amounts to an attempt to destroy the Uyghurs as a group in whole or in substantial part as such. Acts of genocide. While commission of any one of these genocide conventions and enumerated acts with their subsequent intent can sustain a finding of genocide, the evidence presented in this report supports a finding of genocide against the Uyghurs in breach of each and every act prohibited in Article 2 A through E. Every single act was breached. That is massive. Redo of Healer is so fucked up, you're never watching it. <laughs> but quick start talk. Oh, uh, quick start talk economics. They are talking about a Hugo face. <laughs> and it's like, oh, bro, I haven't seen FMAB. Go watch that. Yeah, if you haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, maybe you should watch it. Actually, um, I've been told that if you haven't watched any of the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhoods, it's better to have a combination of Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, or to first watch Full Metal Alchemist before watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, there was one YouTuber that actually kind of convinced me on that. Uh, I really do think there's a lot of benefit to watching Full Metal Alchemist first before Brotherhood. I didn't care about nature, but now that I realize it could impact the economy, I do care. Aha! I just can't imagine thinking like that. Hey, you gotta! You gotta think about it through like... If you're gonna be talking to a person about like environmental policy, but you want to stab at it from environmental policy, but they're not gonna be convinced by environmental policy, but you know they're gonna be convinced by economic policy, then go through the economic policy. That That is like... You have to figure out what is the best way to convince somebody rather than what is the best way to talk about a topic. Japan has uh, to do something something about the violence against women in its media. People's Republic, two good words that you hate to see together. I would assume China will have this stance. The UN is stretching its terms of genocide and how uh, this isn't the United Nations. This is News Alliance Institute. And uh, but like what you could say is that the the definition within the treaties with the respect to treaties, the genocide conventions, you could say China could say that it's stretching it, um, which it, it has no grounds because this the genocide conventions have been used multiple times and it's widely accepted because cultural genocide wasn't supposed to be part of the UN definition of genocide uh I'm pretty sure they're, no they're not even saying that they're committing cultural genocide this report is suggesting that they are just doing genocide okay they're not watering down to, oh, they're doing cultural genocide. And then we have to argue about, oh, is cultural genocide as bad as genocide? And should it be like, okay, which which I think is an easy argument. Or I think it's just right. But this report is just saying, no, they are doing genocide, period. And they deny the whole organ harvesting and injecting women to become infertile. Yeah, they do. Which is why, like, they say that, okay, well, it doesn't matter if there are actually official statements or if you deny it. It has to do with matter of fact. And the matter of fact is you are doing it. Here's the evidence. 
and then they'll deny the evidence to him. Like, okay, you're just straight up fucking lying in your terrible regime. Damn, I love to talk about China. I leave you for a minute and I start talking about it. Hey, yeah, like if you're not aware of this report, like this is a pretty damning report that is. Is anybody else talking about this? I, I saw, I think it was a uh, Chase W. Mitchell. A, a, a really, God damn it, I fucking love Chase, okay? Chase is like the, the perfect, he, he views you, he actually engages, he watches people's streams, and like he knows people, he actually like makes connections and he gets on. Chase is great, and I'm pretty sure he was reading this on a stream that one time that I saw. Yeah, uh, Chase and I have a lot of like similar backgrounds because he also comes from academia and it works in uh, development NGOs. He's currently in the karaoke chat. I know. Okay, so like that, that's the thing that uh, kind of like I kind of used to be like Chase in which I wanted to be everywhere. But I realized that along with my per what's going on with my personal life as well as the vast amount of people who stream on politics, I don't have the time and the energy to like dedicate myself to multiple groups of people so like I specifically chose some people and one of those people is Chase so uh like if it were me I would give my recommendation to Chase that like hey like what you're doing it seems like you're stretching yourself too thin and this seems like unsustainable that's at least my advice take it or don't take it do whatever you want with it that's what I would say Basically, uh, Chase, leave Danabo, come watch me, because I'm one of the good ones. And he gave me a shout-out, too. Mm -hmm. I was really appreciative of that. Uh, I always say on stream that I don't have a lot of clout, and that, like, people don't... They know of me, but then, like, they don't see me as a, a worthy enough person to do the... Drama starting, Chow versus Chase. I have nothing against Chase. What? I just have advice for him. But like I I I I would have advice if he asked for it, or uh, here are some advice, and like I don't want you, I, I won't be butthurt if you don't take it. It's like I had an observation, I wanted to talk about it. Uh, was it the UN that visited China to visit the Uyghur camps, and the Chinese government had the Uyghurs outside playing basketball, being active, etc., to make this seem like they weren't being persecuted? Uh, I saw something about like a World Bank report. And the World Bank is a organ within, or it's not an organ, but it's something within the United Nations. Lamau. Okay. Moving on. Eight. A. Killing members of the group. There are reports of mass death and deaths of prominent Uyghur leaders selectively sentenced to death by execution or for elders in particular by long-term imprisonment. B. Causing 9B. Causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group. Uyghurs are suffering serious bodily and mental harm from systematic torture and cruel treatment, including uh, R word, rape, sexual abuse, exploitation, and public humiliation at the hands of camp officials and hondachondries assigned to Uyghur homes under government mandated programs. Internment camps contain designed, designated interrogation rooms where Uyghur detainees are subjected to consistent and brutal torture methods, including beatings with metal pods, electrical shocks, and whips. The mass internment and related government programs are designed to indoctrinate and wash clean brains, bribing Uyghurs to commit or attempt suicide from the threat of internment, or the daily extreme forms of physical and psychological torture within the camps, including mock executions, public self-criticisms, and solidarity confinement. C. 10 C. Deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in heart or in, pole, in whole or in part. The authority systematically targets Uyghurs of childbearing years, household heads, and community leaders for detention in unbelievable conditions. Impose birth prevention measures on Uyghur movement, separate Uyghur children from their parents, and transfer Uyghurs on a mass scale into forced hard labor schemes in a manner that parallels the mass internment. In some, China is deliberately inflicting collective conditions collect calculated to terminate the survival of the Uyghurs as a group. Imposing, 11D, imposing measures intended to prevent births within the group. 
The systematic birth prevention campaign in Uyghur's concentrated areas is reinforced by the mass internment drive. In the camps, Uyghur women are subjected to forced IUD insertions, abortions and injections, or medication halting their menstrual cycles, while Uyghur men of childbearing age are targeted for internment, depriving the Uyghur population of the ability to reproduce. As a result of these interconnected policies, growth rates in Uyghur concentrated areas are increasingly approaching zero. 11. 12e. Forcibly transferring children of the group to another group, where detentions and forced labor schemes are leaving Uyghur children birth of both parents, they are being sent to state-run orphanages and raised in Chinese language environments with standard Han China child-bearing rearing methods. And 13. China's responsibility for genocide under the Genocide Convention. China is a highly centralized state in full control of its territory and population, including XUAR, and is a state party to the Genocide Convention. The persons and entities perpetrating the above indicated acts of genocide are all state agents or organs, acting under the effective control of the state, manifesting an attempt to destroy the Uyghurs as a group within the meaning of Article 2 of the Genocide Convention. This report therefore concludes that China bears state responsibility for an ongoing genocide that the Uyghurs in breach of the Genocide Convention. And here is all the other stuff it's going to talk into about international law, how it applies, what is the evidence, where is it coming from, things like that. Like this is this is a pretty extensive report from what I could see. Um, damn. Yeah, this is this is pretty large. And uh, Trump had no problem about how China treated the U Uyghurs. I did see that. I did. Hey, Selfish King, what's up? Are you nostalgic about China? listening to maple story music I'm, I'm gonna be ending soon yeah it's about three hours and uh i had a day today was a day today was a day of talking i think like tomorrow i'm gonna try my best not to talk because i talked a lot today on stream with family and things like that i it was a lot of talking oh uh, what else is happening jesus christ Christ. What is going on? Whew, I want to take a break. That was something. House passes 1.9 trillion COVID stimulus bill. Nice. Oh yeah, GameStop is up. It's up even more. You know what? People told me to sell. I didn't fucking sell. All right, how about this? Okay, like the, the next time, I'm going to try to play Call of Duty. No, I, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I don't always have time to study, but when I do, I still don't. <laughs> I don't do the moon. It's going to the moon. Going there. People in chat were like, Oh, you should like sell, take some profit. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, this field of tulips to Holland. Tulips? You guys haven't learned your lesson about tulips? I can't believe Ch the people of Chinchilla's country are like this. They don't learn anything from history. Someday China will be a democracy. Nice meme. Wow, look at this. This is an actual, this is a panorama. That's something. I, I want to say this is fake. Like, they had to do a panorama, but they also had to collect all this light from space to ex uh, expose. And like the green and the orange here, like this. This looks like they took a picture and then they cropped this out. Like they put something from like Google images over it. Maybe it's just that good. Oh, uh, you think I'm a doomer? Okay, so a bunch of people and like I would say these aren't just like 
people, ordinary people. These are actual scholars. These are intellectuals. For decades, I've argued that China will become a democracy because of certain things, such as its growing middle class and uh, and like the the rise of democracy around the world as a motivator for people within to rise up. You know what they did that? It's called Tiananmen Square. It didn't go well, and so I think a lot of of like the scholars did not consider certain factors that would not lead China to becoming a democracy that was predicted. I don't think I'm being a doomer. I think right now I'm just being a realist that it's it's really hard to imagine uh, China as a democracy in any future unless there was like some really huge major shift in public opinion as well as in how the government behaves. Uh, how about this? I think that if there's any chance for democracy in order for China to become a democracy, the uh, Xi Jinping has to has to leave. Like, there's no future of of a Chinese democracy under Xi Jinping. Absolutely not. I think he is a major obstacle. He is, I believe, uh, people have said that he is the most powerful premier of China since Mao Zedong. The green could be Aura Borealis, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Look, we dominate the flower market. Get wrecked, everyone that loves flowers. You gotta go through us if you wanna have the best flowers. Oh my god. Chinchilla, you have, do you have any idea about ho Hollandese, whatchamacallit, history? Okay, the tulip crash? Jesus Christ. Man, Europeans really don't learn. Now entering the anti happiness child program. Sunday it will be. Oh my god. Dude, like, I don't know, man. Xi Jinping? Xi Jinping, like, a couple years ago, got rid of that rule of term limits. Like, he could be the premier forever. President or premier, why not? Okay, where, whoever's the head of state, okay? Wh whatever position Xi Jinping is, he could do that forever. Like, he could be uh, le state leader of China for life. And, uh, that's, that's concerning. Uh... Maybe not under siege, but something. I mean, like, here's the thing. Okay, if she's gonna be the premier for, like, decades, decades long, that's gonna be a lot of influence over how China is. And so then, like, we're gonna... Even if she leaves, like, if he actually has a very powerful presence after he's left, that's gonna be also be another huge obstacle. It's not a doomer take. I agree. The traditional tactics are less effective to China is massive. Hey, Astro. Thanks for the tier one gifts up to Red Radius. Thanks. You've gifted three so far. I notice you. Uh, Chinchilla is not, says it's not a doomer take. He agrees. The traditional tactics are less effective. Since China is massive and Cold War doesn't mean we can just wreck China. You've been to Mount Halakia in Hawaii, and I was able to see almost as many stars as that background picture with my fish eye lens. Yeah, no, like our our lens are able to intake a lot of uh, light and exposure. Like we really do. Who would who would, who would you want to lead a totalitarian state forever? Sounds terrible. No, some people really do want to lead a totalitarian state forever. Okay, so think about it this way. So, let's play a game. Uh, let's not. I'm let's not even play a game. Okay, so here here's a thought experiment. Or not not a thought experiment. Um, here here's a a shower thought. Okay, I think when it comes to say like the most famous person in the world, it's not your movie stars. It's not your, it's not your actors. Okay, it's the politicians. Okay, they're the ones in real power. All right, like just look at. Look at, like, Obama's Twitter followers. He has a lot of Twitter followers. Look at Trump's Twitter followers. He has a lot of Twitter followers. Okay, I'm pretty sure, like, okay, who has... I'm pretty sure Obama has the most. Who has the most Twitter followers? Had! Who took him? Who overtook him? No, see? Obama. Okay. Then there's Obama, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry. Uh... Damn. Alright. It's just CNN, Lamal. <laughs> CNN. 
good. All right. So then o Obama is up there, but then like it's just Twitter, Bill Gates, uh, Elon Musk. What's what's the next? What's the next uh, politician? Damn, I I don't think there's another politician. Wait, where's Trump? No, Trump got banned. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, I totally forgot. Trump got banned. Okay, so where where was Trump? Okay, wasn't he at like third or something? <laughs> AOC has like twelve. Yeah, like AOC has twelve, and she's a representative. All right, she's not supposed to have that many. Okay, she is a representative from a small district. In New York City, okay. The tw the twelve million of ALC is something. Uh, Trump was at like seventy, you think? That's like that's that's up there, okay. So then, I think like Obama is the pinnacle of like how influential and how uh, famous a politician can get. In contrast to like say celebrities like Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, like. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like, if you go to, uh, a, like, a rural area of a developing country, they would not know who Justin Bieber was, but they would know who Obama is. Because, like, Obama is just, like, a household name around the world. Yeah, I, I really think that, like, politicians, or, like, people in power and control of the state, they're at the top of the world. They're the ones who are really at the top of the world, and it's scary. It's scary. Now uh, that, that's just a random thought that I had. It seems like everyone was saying Twitter stock would tank after they banned Trump, but it's actually been doing really well since then. Well, yeah, that's because like... Well, what is it going to be the punishment? Okay, so say it was unconstitutional for Twitter to do that. What would they have done? All they would have done was just unban Twitter. Like, they're not going to get a fine. Like, why? I don't know why people thought that Twitter stock was going to do bad because of this. There's, I, I, I just don't recognize any repercussions if they were actually guilty of committing a, uh, a First Amendment crime or whatnot. Obama had, may have followers, but ASC's interactions are nearly the same as Obama's, plus these celebrities bought their accounts. Yeah, they do. They bought them. All the answers. The only reason why I'm not as large as any of these celebrities is because I don't bought my account and they do. Absolutely. Okay, they're fake. There are a bunch of conservatives that supposedly boycotted Twitter for that. Oh, yeah. I, I don't think that matters. And then... Did Parler get deleted? Lamau. <laughs> so much for alternative social media platforms. So much for platforms that support free speech. Look at the big delete. I know they had to go through something. Oh, it's back now, I see. They had to make some changes. Woohoo. Da ba ba. Okay. So, a lot of the times, and this is something that I want to improve on. A lot of times when I'm scrolling on Reddit, I'm at home. But... What the f Working fuck? Fun. Shut up. Okay. But like, there's a popular page, okay? What is going on right now? What's hot right now? Alright, GameStop. Politics. Uh, this guy. Huh? No. No. Do you guys know how to get to heaven? What the fuck? Huh? I don't, like, I don't know you guys at all. I know, I know. I just see you guys. You guys aren't like girlfriends, are you? Okay. All right. What just the heck? If it was, it didn't really matter. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I just want to let you guys know because they don't teach you young kids anything about God anymore. That it's not the right. What way to the live. fuck? This lady. 
just comes up in here and tries to spread her religion like this and she sounds all altruistic like oh they don't i'm gonna i'm gonna educate you guys no, 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 no. holy shit how awkward is this so, get a well, life force it on somebody yeah, it's yeah, not no, right. i'm not forcing it but the truth's gotta be out there because i know it's i mean i don't know you kind of came over here out of like nowhere and like we have like no clue who you are uh, and these and kids to know oh, how to yeah. get this okay. lady Michael, out God mm -hmm. Jesus Shut the fuck up! Damn! What the fuck was that? If that happens, I get out of my car and I run, man. When you are on your last strike at your job for being late and Iron Man causes a 42 car pass up on the highway. Oh, uh, Los Angeles millionaire is accused of covering up his teen son involvement in a crash that killed a Latino. Whoa, money hides, money shows. Uh, it's kind of hard to have a conservative Twitter. Music. Considering whatever you do right, whether it comes to TOS, your freedom of speech approach should be very open, but that's open up to fascists or Nazis. At the end of the video, she says how God told her to go get those kids crazy. <laughs> like, go. We're in bed, right? I'm asleep. I wake up. She's on Tinder. What Ta the fuck? Wait, 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 what the fuck? U.S. Marine catches a girl red-handed. They want to watch for props to this dude. Uh, wow. This is, I. I this is a bit dark. Like, come on. I, I. Is this uh? This is justice served. Okay, this seems like legit. It's either f like faked and acted upon, or it's actually legit. Um. This is not a meme. I don't think this is a meme, guys. Wake up, we're in bed, right? I'm asleep. I wake up, she's on Tinder, texting other guys, sending other guys kissy faces, telling them to add on Snapchat. That's crazy. While in bed with me. Now, and this is no. this is also why two days ago she told me she loves me, no. right? But she's on Tinder texting other guys after no. she said she loved me. She drove no. down here, right? She lives in Fukuoka. She drove down no. to Iwakuni. It was matching You're with right. guys in Iwakuni. She matched with a You're motherfucker right. down the hallway. And you know how I know he lives down the hallway? Because I work with him. I have your things. Because you sent me. You go. I have your things. Please leave. Damn. That was brutal. And it just sucks. In, in a way, okay, like... She seemed like she was really and not like I'm being really charitable to her. I don't understand that. She seemed really guilty about it, and it's it's within the guy's right to break things off because that is such a a break of dis of trust at like that kind of level. Like it's it's pretty bad. It's up there. It's definitely up there. Like this is breaking up relationship level kind of stuff. And I, I really hope that, like, she kind of learned her lesson. But, like, it, a little bit... A, a little bit also wants me to believe that this guy has the ability to, like, say, like, hey, I'm glad that you learned your lesson. We may not be together, but, like, you know, for the future, I hope you for the best and something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I hope, like, people can kind of, like, just, like, go away from this, having learned something. Uh... And, like, that's kind of shitty for the guy because, like, he's probably the most hurt. Um, they're both hurt. They're probably both hurt. It looks fake. It seems fake since she was literally on her phone while screaming no and she knew... And she knew he was filming. <clears throat> mm. You know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I kind of hope that it, that it is fake. Mm -hmm. It shows that uh, they're, they're so good in this world. She has to play the victim. She shouldn't be able to do that either way, though. It's public shaming stuff. Damn. What is my take on public shaming? Uh, I, I think it's good to abide by the principle of reward in public, punish in private. Hopefully that video is fake, because that... Yeah, it, yeah I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it is fake. I mean, like, if it's not, it is what it is. And like we were 
this is what we're going to be taking away from it. So, like, regardless if it's fake or not, this is what I'm going to be taking away from it. For the boys. Boys got to be for the boys. Uh, today I learned Alcoholics Anonymous founder Bill Wilson's grandfather quit drinking immediately after having a religious experience when he was under the influence of magic mushrooms. Wow. Oh. Whoa, what are these subreddits? What are these subreddits? Okay, this title is The Stupid Volvo Driver Mistook a Psycho Guy for a Guy on a Bike. A guy on a bike? What the fuck? Oh no! 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 This did this did not happen. This did not happen. This the guy on the bike is right there. Okay. And then no, no, please, not like this. And then the guy on the motorcycle, no, no. That's that's not what it is. That is tragic. An idiot, but like, oh no. <laughs> Guys, it's fucking COVID. Why are you in a restaurant? You know why? It's because they're in another country and they actually had a really good COVID response and they could do this. <laughs> By United States. Why did why does the United States have to be so fucking special? <laughs> Shaming your ex seems fucked up. I'm uh I'm gonna leave it at that. I already already said my bit on it. Oh damn this guy's like white people Twitter. Dude, okay, is, like, white people Twitter, like, a negative thing or a bad thing? Like, if you came across, it's white people tweeting stuff. I want to say this is, like, a derogatory. Like, for you to land on white people Twitter, isn't that, like, something that people make fun of you for? Like, the purpose of, like, the purpose of, uh, this Reddit is for, like, to post people, white people posting on Twitter that's, like, cringe, right? Is that, is that the purpose? <laughs> No? Prepare for a sweet gamma squeeze. Yes! Excuse me, sir. How do you feel about women pinching men's bottoms in the street? I regret to say it's never happened to me before. Never? So how do you feel about ladies picking gentlemen up in the street? Pardon? How do you feel about ladies picking gentlemen up in the street? Well, I always do myself. Hello. Oh, I see. Do you think yes. it's a nice idea if ladies molest gentlemen in the street? Instead of the other way around for a change? It's, re it's refreshing, if nothing else. Oh my god, they're owning up to it. That is something. What a Levi. Agora ele vai. Agora ele vai. Agora ele vai. Agora ele vai. Ele agora aí. Bora agora. Mostra que tu é caçambeiro aí. Caçambeiro. Mostra agora. É algo que like Patrick happens. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what is this? What are they even doing? They're, they're on a harness for what? Is this like supposed to be a chair? Agora ele vai. Agora aí. Oh no. <laughs> No, stop! Wait, it's wait, it's wait, like wait, some wait, slide! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 what if he touches the water? Do you think this guy touches the water? Oh my god. He's leaving a trail in the sand.
<laughs> I think he's stuck. I think the friction of the water just gets him stuck. Alright, enough of that. No more. My three hours is up. I don't I don't really don't have anything else to talk about. That uh nice three hour stream kind of just went with it. I th I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun for sure. Get bike lanes? Oh my god. Fucking Europeans and the bikes. Uh, WPT seems kind of bad, but not like white people are a vulnerable minority. Oh, white people Twitter. I guess, like, I, I wonder... I just, uh... I was, I was aware of its existence, but... I just didn't know how to take it. Like, is this ironic? Is this unironic? Like, what's going on? What's the vibe here? What are we trying to aim for here? No, context is very important. I had a few good laughs. Thanks for the stream. Nice. Okay. You only had a few good laughs. I want to have a lot of laughs. Uh. Sure. And we actually like covered some politics too. Uh, it, it wasn't. Despite that, there, there, there was still politics there. So who, we, who are we rating? Question here. Uh, as I look for a person to raid, here are the links that I want people to follow me on for additional support. And something that I want to shout out before I end stream is that on Saturday, I'm going to be hosting anime movie nights and in order to join you don't have to do anything except join in my discord we're gonna be watching a not a ghibli film but the film that started ghibli it is nausicaa of the valley of the wind it's one of my most favorite anime movies there is and it's really old but i think the animation is on point I think it is ageless. Like, it's one of those classics that it doesn't matter at how old it is. It's going to be good. And I could watch it over and over again. In fact, I have been watching it over and over again. This is going to be up there. I, I don't know. I'm just... I'm going to add one more watch. One more viewing to... To Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. It's really good. And that's... That viewing is going to be occurring right after my stream. So, uh, tune into the stream on Saturday. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. EST. Uh, I didn't stream around then. Today, because of the situation, not sorry for that. Maybe, maybe I'll have another situation. But regardless, there will be a Saturday stream. And there will be anime to watch afterwards. 100%. So thank you for watching. I still have not chosen somebody to raid you guys into. I haven't done Danabo in a while. So I might do Danabo. You know what? It's time to do Danabo. You know why? Because it's about that time that he's thinking about the the uh, whatchamacallit the uh is dylan too big to raid um i think so because like i i think D dylan is doing well for himself and i want to particularly send uh my group of people to smaller streamers uh by the way psi erdogan and orban are falling in the polls erdogan i have no idea what you're talking about google cypher Okay, yeah, and another thing that I want to advertise is my Discord. If not for the anime, do it for the politics. If you have something to say that I'm not streaming about that's like politically related that I think would be interested or other people would be interested, okay? Basically, just participate more in my Discord, okay? In increase it. Do it, alright? Because I, I told you so. Alright, this is Senpai's decree. Here, raid Anabo. 
And yes, I do think Dylan is too big to raid. So have a good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later. Okay, it was Yorodawan, Europe, and Turkey. Got it. That's the context. Wait.